Hello and welcome to Gambit Media. How you all doing? Let me know if uh, it's all working. It's, well, we'll see if it's all working. Uh, let me know. It looks like it's working over there. Uh, just let me know in the chat whether you can hear me. What's up, Grand Abbott? Uh, Owen Sunny Ray, nice to see him. I missed the box follow along. <laughs> Got overslept. Got overslept. Oh, you overslept. <laughs> uh, never mind. There's plenty of time to be working on your boxes. Hello, Microwave Dirt. Uh, you were in the Discord, weren't you? Uh, do let me know in the Discord. Oh, that's all right. I forgot to put the Discord up, didn't I? There we go. There's the Discord. I'll turn, put that off screen for now, and then I'll come back to that ready for any portfolios that people want me to go through. That's what I was thinking today, portfolio review. Um, so usually um, it would be the character, but I haven't had a chance to speak to Raymond about the changes. He was talking about changes in the last stream, so I thought I'd better wait uh, because there might be some major changes and if you um, let's say bake your normal maps and all that sort of thing you have to rebake them if there's any changes so that's quite a destructive process so you must make sure you're happy at that point so I thought we'd have an interim uh, Friday chill out time with Grant Abbott hence the weird picture because it's uh, me being silly as as always the thumbnail was funny good uh, good stuff dark side thank you for that remember to at Grant Abbott uh, ABB ITT uh, if you want to ask me a question uh, the background now the background is our sponsor today yes they've been sponsored by sketchfab uh, and i thought if we're talking portfolios then we should talk about sketchfab which i'll come on to in a second so um what is a portfolio well that's a good question dark side a portfolio is um, a collection of your best work i think that's the best way to put it and you uh, then so clients often say uh, show me your portfolio that's one of the first things they'll ask if they're thinking of hiring you and you show them your best work and it's called a portfolio uh, so that's a portfolio i'll start with that um glad to have someone like you on youtube thank you game hack tutorials well that's very much appreciated <laughs> uh, Owen sunny ray um why the get good blender has two videos of spaceship and the next ah i keep forgetting to sort that out someone said that in the comments and i forgot to um sort it out so two video of spaceship and the next and the next what do you mean by the and the next uh made it made it this time i oh, made it Corey. sorry uh, hello Corey. yes nice to see you uh so we got uh niche knight hello grant uh roger tune list it's got a whirlwind there uh game hack tutorials sir wolf jack skellington again 
nice it's going well thank you <laughs> lee j pete morgan studios uh, yeah this background image is awesome now this is the thing i want to say about sketchfab and if you're going to talk portfolios i have a portfolio on sketchfab because it's the coolest site for showing your work off i mean look at this you think this is just an image but wait oh that and that's running on the internet it's on the internet and it's 3d i mean that's really cool uh, and that's not the half of it with sketchfab uh, i tell you it is uh, i'm so glad they reached out to me for sponsorship because i'm quite happy to talk about their site and how cool it is. You can sell your models on here. I sell my models. Um, in fact, I suppose I ought to go to my site really, rather than having someone else's artwork. But this is, in fact, this is one of the Sketchfab models. But look at how brilliantly brilliant it is. Uh, and I, I love it as a model, but it's just perfectly working within the browser. Uh, and that's, it, you can view these things on your mobile phone, as long as it's not potato like mine. Um, I can view quite a few models, but if they go above sort of 40,000 tries and stuff, or big textures, then it gets a bit bit of a struggle for my phone. Um, but that's a phone, for goodness sake, you know, that's how good it is. But, but there's more to it, look at this. Um, you can turn on wireframe, and any, um, Aeon Gaming, <laughs> uh, you're, you're spamming a little bit Aeon Gaming there. <laughs> you wanna simmer it down a little bit, uh, because that will annoy people. Uh, so I might have to mute you. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll give you one chance. Okay, no more spamming, Eon Gaming. Uh, <laughs> Film Fanatics response is very good. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Eon Gaming. If I can grab you, I'm gonna have to mute you. Uh, hang on. Uh, why is that? Ah, oh, put uh, put user in timeout. Yeah, I've forgotten how to do it. Actually, I don't usually have to do this, you know. Um, oh, he's, it's stopped anyway, so I think it happened anyway. <laughs> uh, right, so you can uh, look at your um, wi people's wireframes. I, I learn CG like this. Uh, I tell you, I think, right, how have they done it? How have they retopologized? What's their retopology methods and stuff? Where have they got poles like this rock, for example? Where have they put their pole? And there's a pole there, you can see. This has got, what, tell me what a pole is. There's a gold star, um, <laughs> and there's a gold star available for anyone and who knows what a pole is tell me tell me more tell me what a pole is it's a topology thing what's a pole um but yeah uh, anyway so uh this is how i learned cg um i looked at people's models thought well how have they done it and not only this uh let's turn wireframe off for a moment you can then look at things like uh, the base color on its own oh just the base color so this is loads of painting going on here but then you can look at the metalness instead so which bits are metal? And obviously the metal is white, the uh, dielectric materials are black, and there's a bit in between. So they've actually sort of half done the water. There's roughness, look at the roughness. So you can break down people's models and understand them and, and pick up tips for your own. This is awesome. Okay, and also, uh, <laughs> well wait, there's more. Uh, there's um, ambient occlusion maps, normal maps you can look at. Uh, so, uh, so how have they done that? Uh, you can put it into mat caps and stuff as well. You can turn off the lighting. Uh, and there's the final render. I mean, that is is something else, I think. Uh, isn't that brilliant? And it's a lovely piece of artwork. And so there's more to this. It, it's not just a portfolio. I suppose I'll go on my site and you can see, uh, right, where's my stuff? Uh, models, right. So uh, yeah, so here's, um, I mean, there's some really, there's kind of rubbish stuff on here, like testing things, but uh, there's some useful stuff as well. They're all oh, definitely useful stuff, loads of useful stuff. Like this, the, the C Shack. If you haven't done this tutorial yet, then you should do, because it's great. And look, you can buy it for $15, yeah. And I've actually sold some of these models. Uh, so people can buy your stuff on here. So you can sell models, yes. You can buy models as well. The great thing is as well, uh, I know I'm doing a bit of a sell here, but it is a really cool site. You can actually uh, look at the model before you buy it. So you can think, well, um, is it uh, good topology? Let's have a look. No, it isn't, because Grant Abbott made it. <laughs> I mean, this is a bit stretched and stuff, isn't it? But it's okay for animating, just about. Uh, and the, this is all right, um, but it's a little bit stretched down here. Bit bit iffy, that. Bit naughty from the, the gap bit there. But so you can check these things out and uh, see what you're buying uh, in detail. Anyway, uh, so uh, any questions? <laughs> uh, post your portfolio links in the, on the Discord. So I'm, I'm looking out on the Discord for portfolio links. Let's just have a look if there's any questions. Uh, there was a bit of banning of Eon Gaming and questions, right. Um, 
why no, they've done that that's good so uh, remember to at grant abbott for questions otherwise there's quite a lot in the stream so uh got some calling in got some calling in the room don't want to be don't want it to fade oh calling ah no i haven't yet um it's not too warm today but i do keep thinking do i need to sort out my air conditioning if there was um yeah uh, i'm gonna get on it sooner or later uh, that's it. Yes. So the polls. That was it. The answer to the poll. Who got it first? Who got it first? Uh, uh, like a spine or of vertices. Yeah. I suppose that's what it is. Um, verts with not four edges is the correct answer though from Corey S. Because uh, if it's not got four edges, um, yeah, <laughs> complicated stuff. Well, let's go to Blender for that one. What have I got in Blender open at the moment? Oh yeah. Yeah. I have actually got the. Um, the character because I was just working on the hair a little bit. It's looking a bit better, the hair, but it still needs a lot of work. So let's look at my character. Oh, am I in? Oh, I'm in edit mode in something. Let's go to object mode and let's go to the trousers. Okay, so if I want to select an edge loop, Alt left click, uh, it will go all the way up to a certain point, and that's where a pole is because it has, uh, in fact, it has got four going into it, but it's because it hasn't got a face next to it there, it hasn't got a face that side. <laughs> that was a, a weird example actually let's try and find another pole there's not many on there ah, there's one there so if i press this you see it stops there because um this is a pole okay so uh when you're modeling that's why you're modeling quads so you can easily go um select the edge loops um i'm gonna get rid of my pin now actually on here so i can read people's messages easily oh man it's being really laggy unpin message there we go uh so when you're selecting edge loops or adding edge loops they stop at poles so we try and avoid having poles so we can easily add edge loops so if we want to let's say sharpen an area up i can add an edge loop in there okay so that's poles for you uh that's sketchfab for you uh so a bit of a shout out to sketchfab because i think they're great so that's a great place for a portfolio let's have a look at if i do summary then it should yeah popular models and they will come up that's a popular model of course it is of course it is dirty people out there <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can see the sort of models uh, that I've got on there. It's not really a great portfolio, actually. I use more, mine more for uh, placing up stuff for sale, um, for, for sale because uh, then hopefully people can support me uh, through buying my models. And look at this. This has got a preview. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You can preview these things uh, without even going into them. I mean, that's, that's great, isn't it? I like my Catwoman sculpt. I like that one. It's cool. Anyway, so yeah, that's a bit of Sketchfab for you. There's a tutorial on this, by the way. There's another tutorial. Not many, uh, not many people know that. <laughs> I'm going off on one, aren't I? Sorry. Anyway, um, right. Let's have a look uh, at any more questions. I don't have a portfolio yet, but I've finished rendering a video of the first model I ever made without consulting tutorials today. Uh, mind if I share the link to the video in Discord anyway? Yes, as long as it's got no copyright music, that's fine. Yes, indeed. Do 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 that. Do 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 that. Do 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 that. Uh, can you launch some tutorials with oceans and beaches, please? Well, what is this? Look, that's not really an ocean. Uh, it might be an ocean. It's out in the ocean somewhere. Uh, but yeah, perhaps. It's a tough one, actually, oceans and beaches. Uh, might might get onto that at some point, dark side. Oh, uh, it just jumped there. My, oh, That's a pain. With, uh, right. Uh, what's going on? Right. Uh, bad topology really matter? Yes, it can do. It depends what you're doing. Uh, it can cause pinching. It gets more difficult to model. With, when you've got bad topology and it, it the, the worse it is, the harder it gets to model, if that makes sense. How shall I send my portfolio? Go onto the Discord server. So I'll go to the Discord server now. Did I just, was I just talking about this on the wrong screen? I think I was, wasn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I didn't have the chat up there. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about this on the wrong screen. That's the problem when you've got three screens, isn't it? Um, <laughs> there's always, I always do something wrong. Hopefully, uh, the great thing is people are really nice and they bear with me and they're just sort of sitting there thinking, hopefully he notices soon. Maybe if I chat a little bit, uh, they'll notice. But anyway, uh, poles. So if I select uh, this edge loop here, it will stop at this pole here. That's what I was trying to say. But if I select this edge loop here, it will go all the way through. So when we're modeling, it's important that we um, try and avoid poles where possible or put them in strategic places where you kind of want your loop cuts to end, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks Corey S for pointing the, out the fact that you couldn't see my blender. <laughs> anyway, so the Discord server uh, is just here. And if you post in 
uh, not general chat, the live stream channel just here, uh, we can see your portfolio and then we can do a bit of a, re a review, a review. Like, why can I not I have a bit of a weird problem with ours, I think. Uh, review, a review, yeah. <laughs> um, can I just send you my latest work just to hear your thoughts? Don't cover it, have online portfolio. Um, yeah, I suppose, uh, post it in here. Um, it's Ideally, we're talking portfolio, um, but yeah, we can do that as well. Uh, see how much time we get as well, because I'm probably only going to get through it a little bit. Whoa, um, uh, Agath uh, Nalish, uh, what is happening? Uh, uh, give me answer of my question. Not if you spam. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get muted uh, you have to get muted if you do that um, <laughs> you're on a timeout uh, it does need a moderator film fanatic uh, congratulations uh, you are becoming a moderator there you go uh, you can sort them out can't you <laughs> uh, did I change you to a moderator there did, did that work I might have got Corey S by accident I was trying to click on it but it kept spamming and uh, <laughs> And Corey, yes, you're, you're often on here, so you can be a moderator as well. There you go, add moderator. Right, uh, so, so help me out. Uh, for we get, We've had a couple of spammers today. What's going on? How do you join the Discord server? There's a link in the description. I should have put that on the chat, and I? I put it in the on the chat thing going across the bottom of my screen. Right, so uh, so we've had a shout-out to Sketchfab. Um, that's the first thing, and we've talked to... Uh, I suppose um, I was going to talk a little bit about the portfolio and how you set them up. This is not the greatest, greatest portfolio because there's pieces in there like this one I should remove now, but um, because I think I've got better pieces on there, uh, that's all right. Uh, this, I mean, I put lots of Sculpt January stuff up there, but I suppose really I'm not trying to sell myself because um, I'm lucky uh, that I get work coming in all the time. I do sometimes point people here, but I usually point them at a individual image like this one. Uh, it got a staff pick, this one did. So... Um, I often send people to an image like this. And this has got me a fair bit of work. Lots of people take an interest and said, oh, I'd love to have you do some low-poly stuff for me and so forth, yeah. Um, if you're uploading your file to Portfolio and you're using image textures, how does that work? Uh, so ArtStation, let's go to ArtStation. That's where I was going to go. So this guy's Portfolio, I mean, this, this is awesome Portfolio. Uh, this guy here, uh, I can't pronounce his name uh, because I can't read. Uh, Chinese uh, so uh, but you can see uh, this guy's got just lots of um, he's, he's, so you can click on one image and it gives you it doesn't give you a breakdown actually oh no I thought some of them give you a breakdown but it's just single images so I suppose that's a limitation because I would like to see a bit more about the topology here or is that just a painting <laughs> uh, art station is for 3d art artists and 2d artists and so forth so it looks like it is actually just a painting I did have a better one than this earlier. I mean, we can go to just ArtStation in general. It's a great place to go uh, for looking at other people's portfolios and, and putting your own portfolio up there as well. And it's free to register and things. I do have a portfolio on ArtStation as well. Let's see. Uh, I'm just, I'm rambling at the moment, aren't I? Uh, my profile. So here's my portfolio. So you can see I've got a few things on here. I've tried to show that I do sort of quite diverse stuff uh, and quite a sort of generalist. So. Um, sort of simple artwork, um, slightly more complicated characters and uh, Sculpt January stuff I put in there. And I put the Sculpt January stuff together so I can sort of show people that I can sculpt and work relatively quickly and so forth. And uh, I've tried to sort of break these down into sort of, um, it was not just a single image, but sort of um, rotations and stuff like that. It's good if you can show things like a wireframe as well. Oh, I've got a follower, look at that. <laughs> um, uh, if you can uh, show your wireframe as well. Uh, how do I get back to... Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, you can also, I believe I've done it here. Yep, you can link Sketchfab files into ArtStation. How cool is that? So I can look at this model. Another shout out to Sketchfab there. I can look at this model whilst uh, looking at other portfolio stuff and things, you know. that, And it still has all the breakdown um, images, does it? I thought it did. Yeah, textures and... Oh no, you have to actually go into Sketchfab to see those. But, but so that's another useful thing about Sketchfab is that you can link stuff in to your ArtStation account. I can't praise it enough. I honestly can't. I, I just think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, sell yourself. What's something you're proud of on there? Uh, I I'd really, I, I spent a lot of time on my elephant. I was quite pleased with that. 
there's my elephant quite proud of my elephant uh, so really sort of um, yeah went for it with this I mean Sketchfab has its limitations it's not uh, ray trace or anything so it's not going to be your best render ever but um, I think it's pretty good uh, as, in terms of rendering and there's a, uh, a cycles render I think it is and so forth um, that was a Christmas card I don't know why I put that in there really um, I'm quite proud of this one uh, that was it's some of my early work really this was but it's um, it's just more about the and that's why I always say it starts with low poly um, it's more about um, oh, we're getting lots of followers suddenly <laughs> um, uh, it's more about uh, the positioning and the representation and uh, breaking images down into their um, sort of simplest forms and that's why I really like this piece the sort of fox is quite fun sort of jumping as if it was catching something but anyway uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's my very simplistic portfolio there. Uh, but most of this is quite early work, and I haven't had much time. I should put on uh, something like my Atlas Empires work that I've done recently. Uh, is this people from the stream, the stream that are following me? <laughs> okay, so um, what else have we got? Uh, please give me some ideas as a beginner. I want to start my career with Blender. Uh, low poly, yeah. Start off with low poly uh, and uh, just build up from there. If you're a complete beginner, if you're not such a beginner, then find a specialism. Uh, so I haven't got one. I'm very eclectic, um, but I can afford to be that because I'm not kind of like I say searching for work. Um, but uh, yeah, try and find your area. But I was going to chat as well about Unreal Engine's um, cool reveal recently, uh, which is I've done a I just did a video on that as well. <laughs> it's quite fun getting lots of lots of um, subscribers <laughs> or followers what are they um, uh, but yeah so um, that we'll talk about that in a moment about um, if you're just starting out in 3d because I think that's quite relevant as well uh, so keep keep asking asking your questions and I'll try and sort of fit them in and we'll talk about some portfolios in a second our portfolio is important yes yes they're like major if uh, if you've got someone with the highest honor degree uh, doctorate whatever it is in CG and you've got someone and they haven't got a portfolio and you've got someone that has got a portfolio you're always as a as a someone and an, empl an employer you're always going to cho choose the person that you can see their work uh, so you know that they're good someone saying they're good and someone who actually can show you they're good that's that's what a portfolio is I've never been asked for my qualifications apart from when I applied for a teaching role um, any everything in uh, CG it's uh, can you show me some of your work that there's no uh, Oh, I've, I've been using Blender for 20 years. I don't care. Show me your work. Your portfolio is, is your career, um, in my opinion. Uh, is that Twitch notifications? No, it's just, uh, it's just uh, ArtStation notifications coming through. <laughs> uh, uh, why are we getting uh, so much um, spam suddenly? Uh, I, I must have made it. I'm, I'm getting spammers on my channel. I've made it. Get in. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh, before we talk about portfolios, I want to talk about the industry itself and how it's changing. Uh, yeah, uh, if if you've got any questions, then make sure you at Grant Abbott with two T's. So Samer Khan there, he only put one T with Grant Abbott, so it didn't appear um, orange. I have a question. I'm not good at 3D art, but I am game developer. What should I do? Uh, I want to... I, I want to my own asset. You want to do your own assets, I think, yeah? Um, well... Uh, you have to. You probably think you ought to think about specialism and, and just uh, like go onto Sketchfab, buy a few models, uh, put them in your game like that, um, or Unity Store or whatever it is, uh, and not worry about making your own assets if you're a game dev person. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> looking at all the uh, people following me. That's lovely. Uh, um, and recognizing the faces. Uh, Grey Jack Gaming there. Uh, where was I? Uh, it's, it's a bit distracting. There's too many screens and stuff. Um, yeah, so a special If you are a game dev person and you want to uh, get into the sort of gameplay um, mechanics and uh, programming or even just game making without too much programming, whatever it is, then focus on that. Don't focus on making assets because you haven't got the time. Uh, get Download assets. Uh, start with free assets, then download paid for assets and like I say, Sketchfab's a good place for that um, and other places. But Sketchfab's particularly good because you can see the assets and see how many tries they've got and stuff. Unity Store as well and places like, I'm assuming Unreal have their same um, sort of store where you can look at the amount of tries things have and stuff like that. So um, that's that's the way to go rather than special trying to 
um, specialize in everything you just haven't got the time to do it so let's talk about careers I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the chat and make sure uh, I'm not missing anything um, <laughs> it would be nice to say hello to everybody because I can see a few WhatsApp grants from Master Blaster there uh, <laughs> uh, but I feel like I ought to move on uh, but uh, Keep, keep chatting and I'll, I'll get back to you with and I, make sure you put your questions with at Grant Abbott uh, with two B's and two T's and an I in the middle. OK, so let's look at Unreal Engine. I'll just put this on in the background and I'll will I mute it? Oh, all right. Uh, right. There's these two guys telling us about uh, what's it got? Nanite and Lumens or whatever it's called. Uh, and then they then they kill us with this. Uh, <laughs> it's madness. And it bring the sound down a fair bit. Uh, because this is something else. Uh, this I, I saw this uh, because uh, Blender Nest, the the group that I chat with, someone posted. I can't remember who posted it, but they said, "Oh, look at this! Uh, this is going to stir things up." Sort of thing, you know. And I had a look and I thought, "This, this is major. This is major." Because uh, this is uh, <laughs> these are scans with 8K textures. So there's um, in the frame at once you see a billion triangles at once. Uh, I don't know how they've done it. Um, so, but the the thing about this is that it's going to shake up the industry because if we can go from, I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Um, so in a second they show you actually the wireframe of this, of this scene and you think what the heck is going on here. I think they do it around here but you'll see it in a second. There. <laughs> That's the triangles and there's a billion in there. I think, how do they do that? So in the future I think we're going to be taking um, our ZBrush, ZBrush uh, sculpts or Blender sculpts and we're going to be chucking them into games. I don't think we're that far away. I thought we were far away. I thought that was going to be 10 years time. But seeing this makes me think maybe we're a couple of years away from that. So if you are just starting out, then learning Retopo, still, it's still going to be important, but it's slowly, slowly going to diminish and not be as important. So uh, think about your artistic skills. I think that's going to be the most important as a beginner. Um, in my opinion. <laughs> Have some water or juice, keep yourself hydrated. I'm not too bad, I've had lots of uh, lots of stew today and that's got lots of water in, you're right. Uh, it's because I talk so fast, isn't it? I'm just going off and on and on and on. I'm quite excited today though, uh, because I just think this is, uh, this is just incredible, isn't it? Uh, and this is where we're headed. Um, so as artists, as game artists, we can think, oh, I don't have to worry so much about polygons uh, and isn't that just really cool? It it is gonna yes, film fanatic. It is gonna still be important. That's there's no doubt about it. Uh, Retopo and baking normal maps and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, non-static objects like the character here is probably going to be um, retopologized and baked and so forth. You're still gonna need things like that. But we're seeing the start of the future here. Uh, that's what I mean. So in a few years time. Uh, I feel like uh, it's we're going to get there. And retopology, uh, if you go from let's say that character started starting sculpt was twenty million uh, faces and they retopologized it. If this, if these games can start doing um, and this technology can start doing this, then we don't have to reduce it as much as we are at the moment. So we can probably get away with bad topology in places. So that's probably going to be the future, in my opinion. Uh, so lots of people, uh, it's more like voxel rendering, like, uh, ooh, I don't know that, um, used back in 2011. Most of what we see here is pre-render world. Um, also look how plastic and tad me mediocre the character look compared to the world. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, yep. Um, oh, it's buffering there. Am I all right? Huh, that was strange. Uh, yes, there's, I mean, it's important to say, uh, that this is you don't have to learn uh, retopology. <laughs> so to, it's important not to say that you don't have to learn retopology. Um, but if you are completely new, prioritize in your art skills. That's my suggestion. Uh, in uh, I think bad topology is the future. Yes, Pete Morgan Studios indeed. <laughs> uh, the the light the lighting uh, is global illumination. It's ray tracing and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is sort of real time uh, ray tracing. I know we've had that for a while, but there's global illumination as well. So it's bouncing off and uh, in a minute you see her light and then it lights everything and that's uh, real time. And the, bug, the bugs in here react to the light. I mean, that is just something else, isn't it? That's just something else. Anyway, um, oh, I should have put a link to this, but if you just go on 
oh um, unreal engine 5 uh, and go yeah sorry Un unreal engine uh, go on to there and it's probably worth subscribing uh, because it's um, I put better put the bell on there actually <laughs> Uh, going well, thank you. Self as Lucario, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> and real engine uh, tagline is uh, bad topology by default. Well, let's let's be honest. If we're in a um, studio and we're trying to bang out work really quickly, it's going to be a, a quick uh, retopo, isn't it? And an automatic retopo re sometimes. So. Those, I mean, automatic retopo tools are with us now, um, and they're going to keep improving as well. So I think again, learning retopo is is good, but it's. Um, are you sure it's ray tracing? I've read that it's not. Am I right in saying that's not ray tracing? Oh, I don't. I'm not sure. Sorry, modem head and everybody. Um, I'm, I I thought it was sort of ray tracing. I, there's definitely light bounces in there. I just don't know actually. Don't know how they've done it. <laughs> uh, thanks for keeping me in check, though. I appreciate that. Uh, people are questioning my uh, my use of ray tracing. I thought it was ray tracing, but uh, well, look at look at this. Look at this second. Um, they they show you they do a sort of demo of it as well, and they move the light around, and it um, illuminates the whole um, uh, room. And you can see the bounce light there on on these areas. So you see the harsh light and then the bounce light coming in. I mean, that's I'm assuming that's bounce light. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, Spore, I'm 16 and I'm practicing sketching concept art and Blender every day. My goal is to become a concept artist and eventually a creative director. Cool. That's that's the best way, isn't it? Practice every day, if you can. Uh, get into routines, that's so important. I say that all the time. But um, have a bare minimum. So if it's one minute of art a day, it's your bare minimum. Pick up a pencil and draw a really quick doodle. Have a bare minimum. Um, it often turns into a bit more. And if it doesn't, it's just been one of those days where you've done your bare minimum and you're always improving then. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that for a scene. Look at that. Anyway, uh, let's come off uh, that and come off Sketchfab. I've talked about Sketchfab enough, haven't I? Uh, but a good place for support portfolios and good place to sell your models. I've made a bit of money from them, probably a couple of hundred of dollars in the last year or so. It's, it's, it's not much, um, but it's, it's something, isn't it? Uh, and uh, it's not really special, the stuff I've got on there, I wouldn't say. Um, but let's go back to ArtStation and talk portfolios. Um, I don't know how to convert my passion into a full-time job. That's, it's very tricky because if it's your passion, it's probably lots of other people's passions because it's quite a fun thing to do. Game design is fun, isn't it? Um, I think so anyway. I, I'm, I am passionate about it. I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's being an artist uh, without all the mess of the the paints and stuff isn't it <laughs> um i absolutely love it um but loads of people love it so loads of people want to do it as a job and it's funny seeing people sometimes getting frustrated that it's a saturated market or they can't charge as much as they'd like but you are doing something you love so um that is the way of it really isn't it supply and demand if you if you're doing a really dull job that no one wants to do like a, i don't know let's assume that people don't really like doing accounts uh, but accountants get paid a lot of money, uh, so but that that's the price you kind of pay for having a dull job, is you get a fair bit of money for it. If you have an exciting job, you don't earn as much. Well, you can do, but you generally don't. So expect not to make your millions in art, but you get paid okay. I'm not saying you don't, but hopefully that sort of answered that question. Did you watch the new Blender movie, The Sintel? Uh, isn't that old? That one, The Sintel. Uh, th that's an old one. I think the newest. Is that the Sintel? But yeah, that, um, that, was it the Sintel? I thought that was one of the older ones, but there was, his Spring was their newest one, wasn't it? I'm not sure, but it was really cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've done some really cool stuff. Love to get involved with those sort of things, actually. Maybe one day um, they'll ask me. It's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like they don't like me over there. Uh, I think because I send bug reports in and I always feel bad sending a bug report. And that's all, I, that's my only communication with them is bug reports. So they're thinking they must hate me over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for all these follows on ArtStation. I feel I feel like I've I've made it. Um, I want to make a full movie in Blender, but I don't know where to start or oh, star. <laughs> um, missed off the tee. Yeah, uh, it, it's a fun uh, idea, isn't it? The best place to start is not to uh, make not making the models yourself. Download all the models and get used to downloading animations as well, and then think of the idea and then 
uh, how to work with um, actions in Blender and the non-linear editor, editor and stuff like that. And maybe look at uh, what's it, Ian Hubert's stuff as well, if you haven't seen it already. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? Uh, but hit, and join his Patreon because he's got loads of extra stuff on there. Not that I have, but I, I've heard he has. Um, thanks to your tutorials, I had a music video landed after just two months of learning. Thank you. That's cool to hear, Barbara Klein. Well done. <laughs> it's good. It's good, isn't it? And that's it's possible if you've got sort of artistic and creative skills. You don't need. I mean, it didn't take me. This is probably the easiest piece out of all of my portfolio pieces. Easiest piece to create. Um, yet it's had the most um, interest, and uh, people have been the most excited about this piece. Uh, so it just goes to show that. Uh, all that artistic ability that I've been learning, um, all that technical knowledge, this is still the most uh, sort of um, praised piece out of all my portfolio. So uh, it's not really about artistic skill, it's about creative skill. Uh, so uh, we were going to look at some portfolios, so what um, we'll do <laughs> is we'll look on the uh, live stream channel, that's where you need to post your portfolio, and we'll just go through them one by one having a chat about these things and I'll chat to people on here as well. Oh, hang on. Uh, what do you think about Pixabay is as a way of hosting your portfolio? I don't know about it, I'm afraid. Um, at least when it comes to still renders. I suppose really you should be getting your portfolio out into as many places as possible, probably. Um, but um, I tend to have just one place where I'd, I'd send people to ArtStation if, I, if they asked for my portfolio. And I'd uh, probably send them, I mean, uh, my Sketchfab is linked to my art station, so you can move around my favorite pieces and stuff as well. Um, sometimes I send them to a YouTube video, uh, which looks at some of my stuff. Uh, I felt like there was another question. Nope, oh, we're good. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, I'm scrolling up, and there's actually more, I'm a bit surprised actually, there's more portfolios than I thought it was gonna be. So this is, uh, ah, so, you know, hang on, where are I? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the first place, right? Um, so, Ivan Batala, uh, here's mine. Would love some feedback, as I, I, I as I want to upload a few new pieces, and I could take, and I could take the feedback over what I already have. Okay, uh, let's click on this and go to ArtStation and have a look at what you've done. Let's just check it's actually coming up on the stream. This looks really cool, doesn't it? Look at that, I love it. Um, it's yeah, really nicely presented. Um, yeah, this is really cool. Um, so this is quite, it's, it's probably Marmoset Viewer, this is interesting. So is this, um, they, so they've got their own viewer as well, have they? Marmoset Viewer? I'm not sure what Marmoset Viewer means actually. Ah, that's useful of having a turnaround, isn't it? Uh, this is useful as well, yep. So you've got your um, painted sets and you can see your uh, normals and so forth there. Uh, the model has, uh, and you've listed the tries. Uh, make sure you put comma there, not full stop. <laughs> it's a minor point, but it does actually matter because that's 33.9 tries. <laughs> it's, it's not really a useful point. All right, what, ah, Sketchfab, there we go, Sketchfab. So uh, that's what I would jump towards, is looking at these models on Sketchfab because I can now break them down and I can think, is this any good or not? And yes, it is. It looks great, doesn't it? This is a great piece of work. Uh, what do other people think? So this is um, Ivanix88. Um, let people know what. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm liking it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this. It's difficult. You can't really fault it as a model. Uh, but that's that is the next stage for you to think about. Uh, so uh, get a, find a really amazing artist on, who does similar things to you on ArtStation. And I can't think of any at the moment. I'm, the one that springs to mind for some reason is Gleb Alexandrov because um, let's say he must have an ArtStation. Uh, let's, I'll just duplicate this. And in the search bar, I don't know whether he has or not actually. Um, Gleb, yes he has, there we go. Um, because uh, he's doing some similar stuff. I recognize that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go to, where is it? There. Right, so uh, this I would say is similar to yours, uh, but I mean, it's, I mean, I know yours is more for game and stuff, and this is just for art's sake. 
Um, but look at the um, the way that he's um, his models uh, and just just uh, highlight just the train uh, and compare it to yours. What's different about his uh, compared to yours? And we'll just uh, jump across them because this is very good. But to get to the next level, what is it? What's the next step? Uh, and looking at Gleb, we've got more detail in some areas. So like here, it's really intricate. So maybe uh, and there's this weird 70 30 rule about having really intricate bits. Uh, and you need 30% intricate bits. I mean, you've got some around the place, uh, but I feel like it's a tiny, and this is very critical at the moment, but uh, it's a tiny bit bland in places and very samey, uh, samey, uniform. Does that make sense? I do like it. I really like it. That's important to say. Um, but this is the next level, isn't it? This just looks so cool. Uh, and this looks cool. You see? Uh, <laughs> I know it's silly, but that's how you've got to be thinking. What's my next level and how do I get there? Uh, break down these pieces of artwork and think, oh, well, there's, uh, this user texturing is interesting. Um, and uh, the shapes they've got here are interesting. These shapes are very boxy, um, sort of. I mean, it, it, it still works. It, this is important to say. It still works and it's still an absolutely gorgeous little model. I love it. But what is the next stage? That's what you've got to be thinking. I do like your style. Um, but yeah, so moving on to the next stage, what can you do and where do you go? Um, it's, uh, it's really cool. It is really cool. It's got to be said. It's really cool. Love this little tank here. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I like the outline. Uh, that's quite fun, isn't it? It's got that sort of, um, what's it, what do you call it? Um, fallout. Fallout? It's not fallout, is it? Oh, see, my brain's gone. It's that one. It's that one feel. <laughs> uh, let's go, scroll down. It's interesting. I feel like uh, the next thing for you to do as well, um, I know you're doing your textures in Substance, uh, Marmoset or something, I can't remember which one it was, but uh, the next thing is to uh, think about going to the next level with your textures as well. I know that sounds really silly, but Borderlands, that's the word, it's not Fallout, it's Borderlands, thank you. Oh, so annoying, I couldn't, it was there in my head and I just couldn't think what it was. <laughs> Uh, right, so, um, yeah, uh, so, I mean, the, the topology looks good, um, yeah, just texturing, uh, it looks good, I'm not saying it doesn't look good, but it's just, what can you do to get to that next stage, um, yeah, so have a think about that, hopefully that's a few things for you to think about, I'll leave Glebs up there, because uh, that might be good for us, I'll just have a go to the chat and see what people are saying, uh, what are and how can we practice our creativity skills? Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's a good point actually, because you think creativity comes naturally to some people, isn't it? But um, that would be uh, looking and observing and uh, you know, so diversify what you look at in terms of art. So don't just look, if you like Borderlands, don't just look at Borderlands, obviously. It's in my head now. Uh, if you like game art, don't just look at game art. Go to galleries and think about how you can incorporate those things into your game art. Uh, what was I looking at recently? I thought, oh, I wonder if um, I can get um, borrow something from that and bring it to the game world in some way. And that's, that's sort of boosting your creativity and practicing not just what you're good at. So if you're good at um, modeling tanks, don't just keep making tanks. Uh, can you make an organic tank? So, or a a tank character. If you're really into tanks, you keep going with the tanks, but you, you've got to adapt that theme and move it on creatively. That's what I think. I hope that answers your question, Patrick Zock Alves. <laughs> uh, Great Jack Gaming. Uh, should a new artist put their first pieces into a new portfolio or should they wait until they have reached a certain level of skill before starting one? I think just go for it personally. You can always remove it. It's uh, And uh, just, just go for it. Get used to, um, because by doing things, you learn things. That's, I know it sounds stupid, but um, so doing a portfolio for the first time, if you're an amazing artist and you suddenly think, oh, I need a portfolio, your portfolio is probably gonna look a bit uh, naff, even though you're this amazing artist, uh, and it's not gonna be very well organized, uh, just because you're not used to making a portfolio. So get used to the whole process and grow your portfolio as you grow as an artist. That's what I think anyway. Uh, uh, people are liking the designs of, oh, I can't remember who it was now, but <laughs> it was on here a minute ago. Uh, it was Ivan Batala. Uh, it's Frank's, uh, Frank posted his YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> I think we have seen that before, haven't we, Frank? <laughs> I'm not going to go on it. 
<laughs> it might wind them up a bit actually okay blender tutorials and art uh this is your youtube though i'm not going to go to youtube if that's all right because um i think uh the yeah i in fact is that yeah uh because uh i don't think youtube's a good place for a portfolio uh, maybe i should maybe that's that's unfair for me to say because then i can talk about how i wouldn't do it yeah so let's go to the youtube should have gone to frank's then. Just, <laughs> i think frank was just messing about anyway hopefully <laughs> okay so uh yeah so if this is a tutorial site then it's not a portfolio site and you must distinguish between the two you can always put a portfolio page um, or video uh, but link to that video and only that video um, uh, and maybe have it as a private video i don't know yeah, it depends yeah um yeah but yeah you probably just wanted me to show people your tutorial so you could get some subscribers that's the thing <laughs> which is fine uh, you're off and on here so that's cool uh, so uh it looks a good uh, low poly car tutorial have a go at it people <laughs> enjoy um right let's uh, i'm getting a few um subscribers on art station it's nice isn't it uh let's just see if there's any qu more questions i'm struggling to keep up with all the chat actually it's quite fun this i'm enjoying myself uh chandramauli s curious about the character creation you were talking about a few months ago using the block out method would be a great sculpt along and easy with the new multi res indeed yeah we might I might do that actually yep uh that's quite possible yeah so i'm doing a new character creation uh course um i think it's it's being re released to some people it's the game dev tv people have re sort of half released it um to their loyal subscribers to test it out that's the great thing uh it's being tested out first and there, there's like lots of people looking at it and giving me pointers for things to add in and stuff and that's the good thing about paid for courses which you don't get with youtube uh, i'm just doing a bit of a sell there when i uh right uh I've been a producer for a studio and we got tired of only seeing tanks and weapons in people's portfolios uh, and always look for fun, unique models, e.g. a ninja panda or something else. Thank you, Nick G. That's what I was actually thinking uh, in um, the the previous portfolio. And thanks for saying that because it sort of, uh, it cements it in my mind. Uh, you, you do have to be careful. Uh, yeah, tanks, guns. Uh, even even characters to a degree, if it's just a base human model or really buff character, uh, it's been seen loads of times. But yeah, a ninja panda is. Uh, it's, I, I fancy doing a ninja panda right now. Uh, is in modelling one. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what you want to look for, isn't it? And uh, that's what excites people about your portfolio. Thanks for that. Um, Space cookie. How do we model real world things? When the real world objects have a lot of detail, like a cave entrance in a mountainside, how would we reduce something like that to game ready assets? And that is exactly what you've got to worry about. Those, <laughs> and just looking at the Epic Games stuff we've seen there, that they're starting to find ways of doing sort of mega scans straight into games. Uh, I would not follow that career path. <laughs> uh, Yes, uh, if you're really into making mountains, but look out, uh, look for scanning and how you can reduce it um, if you want it looking really, really realistic. So scan things, retopologize, and take the textures in. And Quixel, um, Quixel is it? It's called Quixel, isn't it? Uh, they've got stuff on their site for free now. Uh, so do you want to be following that career path? Hopefully I haven't sort of kicked you in the teeth there with that, but um, hopefully that makes sense as well. Um, is there other channels that has follow along lessons like yours not that i know of actually um it's a it's a bit quirky and unusual really it's probably because i'm a teacher that i'm happy to do it but i, I don't know of any that do follow along lessons um and do sort of uh, looking at other people i'm unique you see <laughs> a solo um samarkhan a solo game developer's heart to manage all things uh, what you think um, you, you want to be able to do everything is what you're saying and then go for it do what you want to do um, but don't expect um, it's going to it's going to be a long process if you want to do everything <laughs> oh so you can up, upload Marmoset Toolbag uh, to ArtStation similar to Sketchfab didn't know that yeah that's cool isn't it um, the thing I like about Sketchfab <laughs> is that I can sell my models on there as well uh, okay, let's go for the next one then. Uh, Trouble Dog, Art Station. 
Ritam Sen. This looks interesting. I feel like I've seen some of this before. Hmm. Have you have you been in to the uh, entered a competition or something? I'm trying to think. Um, interesting stuff. Okay. Right, let's try and look at one of your models. So let's look at this one to start off with. Okay, so we've got a low poly toy car um, and the background is a little bit hazy. Uh, there's not many shadows on the ground. So I'm thinking, oh, so this is a beginner, a beginner at the moment, so it's a beginner portfolio. Um, however, then when we look again, we see some more detailed stuff here. So this looks quite exciting. Be clear though, if you've downloaded a model, uh, okay, because it looks like this is a bit simpler than this model, which is really detailed. So be very clear, if you're putting stuff in your portfolio, uh, let people know that these things are downloaded assets, okay? Otherwise people get very annoyed if you try and copy stuff without um, uh, saying where you got it from. Okay, so we've got that, uh, and then we're moving on, and we've got some, uh, this looks a bit more complicated. It looks like a ducky thing. There we go, you know ducky 3D. Uh, and that's really nice, okay? I like that, uh, it's, a, it's a bit more, individual it's probably a bit more you uh, than the car is so I'd get rid of the car because it it's very low end in terms of it's just beginning so you've moved on uh, to some more uh, ducky type stuff <laughs> motion graphics uh, so get rid of that one okay um, and think uh, and think like this let's have a look this is uh, is moving away from 3d uh, dog gazing over mountains okay so uh, I mean, it looks good if it's painted, but it looks actually like it's a picture that you've uh, just edited uh, with a Photoshop filter. Uh, because of the background elements, they look very much like they're from a picture. You wouldn't really paint in um, trees in the background of a dog. That's just how it goes. So it looks like a picture that's been edited rather than a painting you've, you've done yourself. So I'd get rid of that one. Um, so this is so I'm probably being hypercritical here, but um, just thinking about these different things again that. It looks like a picture that's been edited because I think that's one of, that's probably why I recognized it because isn't that Supergirl or something? And I think that is, so you just gotta be a bit careful. It looks like you're using images and then you've edited them slightly and then putting them in your portfolio. Uh, I'd be very, very wary of that sort of thing. Uh, and, if, if, and if it looks like that, if it's your own painting, then I apologize, but make it more individual. So don't do Supergirl, for example, do something that's you. Um, and are you a 3D artist? Are you a motion graphic artist? or are you a hand-painted artist? So lots of things to think about there. Which direction are you going in? What do you want people to hire you for? Uh, lots of things to think about. Okay, um, uh, what's you, unique is the have a think of, have a think for a moment uh, what you do. That's fantastic. Thank you, Roger uh, Tonlist. Is that Tonlist? <laughs> yes, Grant, you're unique, I'm unique. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, by the time you've done everything yourself, the industry has advanced and half of it is now automated. That's the thing, isn't it, Lichtenberg? Uh, uh, I totally agree. Uh, you, you do have to think, uh, what can I, and if you've got loads of time on your hands and you can really go for it uh, with making a game fully on your own with every asset and all the bells and whistles, then fair enough. And people have done it uh, and they've done well. Uh, but there's probably quite a lot of people who haven't and failed drastically because and got depressed because they couldn't make it. So realistic expectations, I think, is quite important. Yeah, it's probably from a tutorial. And that's the other thing. Watch out if you're just copying, not copying tutorials, but just building stuff that is, is it Batwoman, was it? <laughs> that is uh, straight from tutorials. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think someone posted that on the Discord earlier, actually. They were saying, oh, I've f done my first model without following a tutorial. Uh, and so they haven't got a portfolio yet because they don't want to just post tutorial stuff up because you recognize it all the time. We see donuts, <laughs> if we're Blender. Uh, they used to be teddy bears and explosions uh, when back when I was learning. Uh, Blender Guru was around then, uh, and that was a long time ago. And everybody was doing teddy bears and they were doing the planet exploding one and stuff. Or the who did the chocolate text melting or something and everybody was pr reproducing it and putting it into their portfolios and they're trying to get jobs with this but people are saying well that's the that's the tutorial it shows that you can follow a tutorial it doesn't show you how got you in your own ideas so i wouldn't put um a tutorial piece in your portfolio and i see lots of wells lots of people do the well tutorial and put it into their tutorial 
into their portfolio. And it's, it's not really a good idea. I mean, I'm probably not as well known as, um, in fact, I'm definitely not as well known as the donuts uh, with Blender Guru, uh, but it's still, um, it's still from a tutorial and people might recognize it. They might not, it's only a Gavit Media one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I made this, oh, uh, I made the scene a little off scale. I forgot to adjust it. Does it m make my render slower? No, it doesn't. No, uh, it's fine. R uh, scaling doesn't make any difference. Captain Marvel, that's it actually. It was Captain Marvel, wasn't it? Yes, that was the one. It wasn't, uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Pete Morgan Studios. <laughs> um, search for hunting knife, Grant Abbott. <laughs> uh, there was a time where military radios had a peak too uh, when the tutorial first came out. Oh, the military radios. Uh, was, uh, did someone do a military radio tutorial? <laughs> um, anyway, so on to the next tutorial. Not tutorial. <laughs> Portfolio, my brain's going already. I'm only, I'm only an hour in as well. I am just talking away, aren't I? That's, that's just crazy. Uh, People are, well, people haven't, haven't left, so we're 250-ish, that's all right. I do take a glance at that every now and again to make sure people aren't horrendously bored. Uh, here's mine, not quite sure whether it's good or bad, thunking. Uh, Jackis, is that Jack, or is it just Jack? I don't know. Uh, CS, okay. What have we got here? Oh, so you've got some substance materials. This is interesting. Some apples. Ah, Blender Guru, Blender Guru. It does look good though. Uh, <laughs> I, I I haven't seen the, I haven't looked at the tutorial. I usually look at most tutorials to just get ideas um, for how I should be doing my own tutorials and what works and what doesn't. But I haven't looked through Blender Guru's recent one, and I probably should do. Uh, you see this? This is interesting. That's that looks good. Looks a bit of a fat um, fire extinguisher. There's the donut. So I would I would steer clear of donuts. And chairs. Chairs will be the new thing. Um, there was the CG, um, there's the apples as well from, what's his name? CG Boost. So <laughs> just be very careful. Uh, I think that's a Blender Guru one as well, isn't it? There, he did an oil lamp. I know it's, it sort of whittles down the things you can actually do because it might be in a tutorial. That doesn't look much like Blender Guru, so I think you're right there. Um, okay, this is quite nice, isn't it? Teddy bear basket. Teddy bears, what did I say? So was that a Blender Guru? <laughs> But I like this one. I would get rid of the background and do a, um, have the HDRI, but have it on a shadow catcher or something um, would be better to present it. Otherwise it looks weird in this field. But this is really nice, okay? I think that's a good piece. And it might be from a tutorial, but still, uh, it, you've got your own spin on it with teddy bears in a basket. That's probably the best piece, so that probably should take priority. Um, I mean, these things are okay, but, uh, and it, I mean, yes, they're, they're good, and maybe it's the level you're at at the moment. And I did say that you should get stuff out there on your portfolio, but I still think it should be your best work. And if anything brings it down, then get rid of it. This is uh, far better than the rest of it. So I'd probably just have that one image. <laughs> I know it's not much of a portfolio. I'd probably have that one, maybe the fire extinguisher as well, because that really shows you understand materials, but I would make it a bit thinner. It's, they're not usually that fat, are they? It looks a bit like it's stretching here as well. I might be wrong though. But yeah, I'd keep that one in as well. Uh, but these textures, I know uh, it does take a bit of skill to do that. Maybe put them all onto the same one. Uh, so sort of, here's my substance materials uh, sort of thing. Uh, a bit like what you've done there, really. Um, uh, and put that in maybe separately. This one's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah, you see, that one I'd keep as well. This That's the gun from Portal or something, isn't it? I've never played it myself, but uh, I'd give him I mean, did you, it looks so different to the main model. Uh, it looks out of place and it's uh, something, it's like fan art, which we should keep away from with your portfolio ideally. But this model is actually quite interesting. So keep that without the gun, I think. The, your worst piece drags your portfolio down, exactly that. Because um, if, if I'm hiring someone and I think, oh yeah, yeah, they can definitely do it. Um, and then I see something that I don't feel is, is, or I see like the donut and thinking, well, why is that in their portfolio? Are they, are they a beginner? Maybe I shouldn't trust that they can do this. And this was a true tutorial as well. And it starts making you question. So yeah, watch out for that. Cool stuff. Right, where are we? Discord again. Any questions coming through? Blender Guru started the donut apocalypse indeed. Yep, the chair is from Blender Guru. <laughs> donut's too sugary for me. 
Me too. <laughs> uh, I feel putting common tutorial pieces under my portfolio, indeed. Just having a quick look at what people are saying. Hello, Maria White. Ma Mariella White, sorry. I feel you're going to destroy mine if you check it. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, is, is that is it okay? Uh, what I'm doing? I hope I'm not um, being rude about people's work. Um, but that is it's important to. I mean that that they say that's one of the most important things as an artist, more so than your ability when starting out. This is is your is actually your ability to take criticism more so than your ability to draw art, because. Um, I've had lots of students and I've suggested things and I, I think Ooh, I... Well, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Milan. Much appreciated. Nice to see you on here again. Uh, and I feel like uh, uh, I'm quite easygoing and I'm very positive when I talk about people's work, even if they've just made their first low-poly car or whatever it is. Um, but even, so I'll say something like, oh, it's pro possibly a little bit blocky or something like that. Uh, but that's what I wanted. Uh, and you get that sort of stubbornness back at you. And then I'm, I'm much more reluctant to uh, say and give them any, because I don't feel like they can handle it. Um, so I don't want to give them or push them uh, further uh, because I'm worried they can't really take it. Whereas the others who think, oh yeah, you're right actually. Uh, yeah, I'll work on that. Those are the people that I want to teach more uh, because I know that they're going to get something from what I say. But that stubbornness, that preciousness over your work you mustn't have uh, um, but we all have it to a degree and it's hard isn't it it's hard to take criticism okay so um uh this is a 2d assignment i did for an online course this video is private <laughs> so i can't see that uh make un unprivate your video uh, uh that's a youtube thing i think isn't it so we'll we'll jump that okay uh stuff when i started um that's an interesting, uh, interesting, lots of artists do this. Uh, they say things. Ooh, well, well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Jack Gray Gaming as well. Oh, you find them insanely valuable to learn from. Thank you, that's good. Oh, Barbara Klein, thank you very much as well. Because of that music video. Yay! <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it does make me happy when I hear people say that uh, they've used a tutorial of mine They've learned 3D, um, or they use several tutorials probably in order to make a music video, and they've gone on to a career. But loads of students who are contacting me saying, and they're doing really well. I'm a little bit jealous, to be honest. I think, what? Hang on a minute. Uh, you were my student a few years ago, and you've managed to do some really cool stuff better than what I can do. It's very upsetting, <laughs> but it's so cool, isn't it? You feel like it uh, justifies all the effort that I put in. Uh, Ooh, well, anyway, well, thank you very thank you much. Very uh, yes, that's, that's the, I felt like there's an extra one, but I, that I hadn't said. Thank you very much for all these donations. Uh, so Zephyr, yeah, lots of artists do this, and they uh, they they talk down their work bef as they're posting it. So um, <laughs> it's sort of like, oh, I did this little thing because they're scared that people are going to rubbish it, and therefore they have to sort of say, well, it was only it only took me half an hour. Uh, that, so I, I, I'm guilty as well. So uh, stuff when I started. Uh, it, it should be his stuff that I'm proud of, uh, <laughs> really. And you should only be sharing the stuff that you're, that you're proud of as well. Uh, okay, let's have a look uh, from Zephyr. And Zephyr is one of our moderators on Discord. So thank you very much for all the work you're putting in there. And all the, and it's very um, active as well on the Discord. I like that. Uh, cool stuff. I mean, it's, um, it's all sort of very abstract, quite interesting. Uh, think about your lighting and... This one was hard to make out to start off with. This one's a bit more um, easier to make out, like the depth of field look there. Um, difficult to make out the shape there. So think about the angle you're looking at it. Uh, this is, uh, I feel like I've seen that before. Maybe I'm getting that weird deja vu thing when you get a bit sort of tired. Uh, <laughs> and I, I can't help because I've been talking for so long, I sort of get a little bit sort of dopey after a while. Uh, this, is, uh, this is interesting, but I feel like it's a bit sparse. Um, yep, yeah, and... That looks quite cool, doesn't it? But um, be clear when, if it's a portfolio piece, whether you've taken that model or whether you've sculpted it yourself and stuff. Uh, it's cool though. And diversity there with uh, some sort of 
yeah, just playing around. It's, the, it's those sort of things. Well, I'm just playing around, so uh, uh, this is not important. Uh, <laughs> so because you're worried that people might criticise it, and that well, it was just playing around, so I'm not going to. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good fun though. I like I like this one. And you're know, playing around with the textures, useful stuff. As a portfolio though, I don't quite know what you do yet. So uh, maybe some more up-to-date pieces would be good for you. Okay, let's, I keep going back to the Glebs work there. It's nice enough. Let's look at the next one then. Uh, uh, Converex, Jack Converay, Conver is that right? Okay, cool stuff. This looks nice, doesn't it? And it's quite a good idea to have a front page like that, uh, which uh, you're, a piece that you're proud of, right at the front, as your front cover. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there they are. There they are. <laughs> uh, but uh, like I said, it's good to have that. Um, this seems out of place. I, I'm guilty of it myself. I had um, a 2D image, and really I'm a 3D artist, more than a 2D artist. Um, so possibly make yourself a 3D logo. It depends what you want to sell yourself as. Uh, these look quite interesting. This looks so out of place compared to the other ones. It's very good, and you've done well with your donuts, and followed the tutorial nicely, and you've um, added your own elements to it as well. Um, but uh, it, it's still too common a tutorial, so be careful. Uh, this is, this looks kind of cool. It's very darkly lit, maybe that's intentional, Look, and it looks very grey. Uh, and, and being, uh, again, super critical. It's, it's good, it doesn't have the wow factor, uh, like that's the wow factor, uh, this is the, yeah, it's good factor if that makes sense. I think your texture, this is a good way of showing it. So you're doing well with the portfolio, show close up. Um, is this procedural or is this, um, it looks like a stenciled on um, type of approach. And uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look sharp as a sword. It doesn't look like a weapon, so it doesn't look functional. And that's something to think about as well. Uh, it's a tough one, isn't it? Uh, but it doesn't have the wow factor for me. Uh, and again, being quite hard. Oh, I just I didn't mean to do that. I'm not used to going through portfolios in on ArtStation. Uh, it's over here, isn't it? I have to cross out. Uh, but some good sculpting. This is this seems a bit better because you've got this sort of cool sculpt at the top here, and I like this more. I prefer this more. This uh, it's tricky because it's a little bit low resolution the normal map to get in that close, isn't it? Um, so that can be a tricky one. Yep, it, it's get, that's a bit better that one, isn't it? Um, and I feel like this is this is more. This is more. Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to look around the scene. <laughs> I was thinking um, Sketchfab and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool actually. I think this. I'm more tempted for you just to have that, because I mean this one. It's not really rendered to the best. I mean, it's very dull and flat. Uh, you need to get some more lights in there. Uh, whereas uh, this one, it looks really cool. Uh, focus more on this, make more of this, make more of these sort of models, get your swords in another scene like this, and maybe two scenes like this, and you're ready to get out there and get some more work, I think. Um, these aren't quite there yet. They're almost, they're almost, they haven't got the wow factor like your, um, your other one does. I think it does, anyway. I think that's got more of the wow factor. Uh, I don't know if that's much to go on, really. At least the good thing is, get rid of this one definitely because it's nothing like the rest of them. Uh, so it's clear that you sort of followed a tutorial. But is there anything you can take from this that you can bring into the other ones? I suppose maybe you did with the anvil. Uh, that's another Blender Guru thing. Uh, but uh, more, yeah, take that one out. Uh, but more of this, if you can muster that up. Uh, less of this or light this differently. Put this into a scene. Uh, so it's got a background uh, with some lights here or something, I don't know, get, uh, yeah. Improve this one and maybe put some of these weaponry around the shrine or whatever that is. Uh, hopefully that's some indicators there. Uh, the skull was a bit flat, yeah, yeah, I'm a bit flat. Uh, I know what you're saying, the, the textures were flat, but also the flat in the face as well, wasn't it? Uh, Warcraft fan art, yeah, be careful of fan art as well. There was a Warcraft element, but I mean, I love the world of Warcraft stuff and I, I'm, I'm a bit of a, fan when it comes to my own art I'm thinking that style at times as well so I can see why you're borrowing from that style 
Um, yeah, the blacksmith one is great, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, miss the game. The swords are in it further down. Are they? Ah, oh, sorry. Um, let's, I'll just uh, quickly go back to that. Da, da. What is going on with my internet now? It says excellent connection. Do you mean uh, in this one or this one? Yeah, I'd put them into this scene and then they don't have to be in separate scene. I think that's that's how I'd put it anyway. Um, any portfolio portfolio advice for an artist who work in a gazillion different styles in parallel? Yeah, now that's, it's tough. And I, I think I kind of do really. I'm, I'm very much a eclectic artist and I love all sorts of different things and quirky things um, as well as really traditional things as well. Um, so I... Uh, I used to put 2D stuff in with my 3D stuff, but my 2D work isn't as good as my 3D. It's working on it all the time, though. Um, so I just leave it out. And uh, some people ask for it. Um, so I'll, I've got some stuff ready for them, if that makes sense. It's really tough. It, very, very tough. If you're good at all of them, then you're fine. I think this is the most important thing to say about... Uh, because portfolios generally is about getting work. Okay? Uh, so And the whole thing about getting work... Is being good <laughs> I know it sounds so stupid but if you're good at stuff people will come and find you uh, and uh, and I know um, the industry says uh, things like oh we're, we're not we're not only looking for artists we're looking for people as well and um, one creative minds or people that can work in a team and all that sort of stuff but they're primarily looking for a good artist let's be honest and if you're not a good artist but you're really creative and um, you've got to uh, you get on work well, well in a team but you just can't do it uh, then they're not going to hire you so primarily be good uh, and you get there through lots of practice uh, maybe if you you could overtake the um, being good at art with really creative so you can have these really clever ideas but you're not really quite um, fulfilling them in your artwork but if the ideas are coming across then that's all right. But that's where things like low poly work is really cool for, because you don't have to be an amazing technical artist or even have great artistic ability, but you can be super creative and put low poly work in and suddenly uh, people want to hire you. And like I say, my probably least technical, least artistic piece is the most um, most looked at piece in my portfolio. Uh, and I've got had the most responses from industry from, if that makes sense. Um, now, can you teach us about part particle systems in Blender? Uh, I struggle with particle systems myself, so um, I'm probably not the person to ask about that one. Raise the likes to 200. It usually gets about 113 likes. Uh, does that really make that much difference? I mean, it's nice. Nice to people like me. <laughs> it's nice to be liked, isn't it? <laughs> That's totally true, Grant. Thank you, Owen Sunny Ray. I like that. I work for um, I work for a few clients as an environmental concept designer but as of 2010 i had to learn 3d with my drawings and now i use both mediums um ah cool um so tell us um uh i mean how is that going and have you got a portfolio because uh, that's an interesting one that i'd like to talk through i was working with the team until they realized they didn't do any what until I realized they didn't do anything. I code Unity, I do modeling, animation on Blender, make texture with a substance designer, then I quit and make my own game. Yeah, too right. Uh, if you can, then that's awesome. And it, I suppose I was sort of saying to someone earlier that uh, that's very difficult uh, if you're starting out, but it isn't impossible, and there's an example. Do you think it's better to learn modeling first, then texturing, and then rendering, or directly learn everything at once? That's a hard question. It's a hard question. I'd, I, when I'm teaching people, I teach it methodically. So we do modeling, but to a base level. We do texturing to a base level. Uh, and then we, um, all the time, we go back and improve our models, improve our textures. And then we look at rendering, lighting, although we don't spend enough time on rendering and lighting, actually. But um, that's, it's tough sometimes <laughs> in teaching stuff. You know, uh, if you haven't, yeah, I won't go into the ins and outs of teaching uh, in a sixth form centre. Yeah, especially right now, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, but yeah, so I would I would steadily build on all of those things. 
do you play video games occasionally? I'm playing Divinity 2 at the moment and I'm quite enjoying myself. It's just nice to have a, a chill out time, get on some Divinity 2, it's lovely. Anyway, uh, back to the portfolios. Um, right, so um, we're, well, it's sort of a portfolio. It's my latest animation piece. Hope to do more like it soon. Okay, we'll, we'll go for that. And we'll talk the ins and outs of whether it's all right to have a, um, a uh, video as a portfolio. Throw out lamp. Got a bit of a Pixar thing going on there. Oh, I like that though. You see, that's quite good, isn't it? Um, is this not easy, is it? Yeah, yeah, that, you see, that's quite creative. And he's trying to get that off, yeah, and that's good, that's good, I like this. Well done, Pete Morgan Studios. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite enjoying this, this is good, isn't it? Yeah, okay, uh, cool idea. I mean, let's, uh, let's be honest about the technical aspect. Uh, the light doesn't look very cool. We haven't got any shadows here, so a bit of work on the light. And this all looks really flat. Um, so as a piece, uh, if I'm thinking technically, um, artistically, um, it's not that great. But the animation itself is, is quite cool and it's quite a nice idea. Yeah, I mean, it's all sort of Pixar related, isn't it? So we've got that aspect to it. But I like um, the dynamics with the paper and um, the, the, the head of the lamp. It's, it's good, isn't it? It does need better lighting and that wouldn't take long. That wouldn't take long just to, um, because would this be as lit up? I don't know. Maybe a few more things on the desk. It, it's just got a blankness to it at the moment and a bit of a flatness as well. Um, I feel like there's too much ambient light and then this is really dark. So can we have an HDRI that's maybe get a bit of depth of field in there? I mean, that's just a button, put depth of field in uh, and then we've got a blurred background perhaps. You could even uh, download some assets and put them in the background, as long as you're clear about what you've done, just so it's not so black and sparse. Is it then it it's constricting? Uh, it's but well, that's cool, isn't it? Where did you get your first freelance jobs? That's a good question, actually. I'm trying to remember. This is a long time ago when I first started. Um, I. I was struggling actually, uh, word of mouth a bit, because I was doing sort of arc viz type stuff. Um, and I tried things like Fiverr and places like that when I was first starting, yep. Uh, and it was it was hopeless. I think I got, um, I took on a couple of jobs just because I wanted to get a reputation. It was actually people per hour, that was what it's called. And trying to get a reputation on there. So you had to sort of take on jobs a bit lower in the hope that you get some feedback um, and a positive, um, you know, um, positive recommendation. Uh, and I ended up doing like 20 hours of work for like uh, 20, it might have even been 20, yeah, 20 pounds it was. Uh, and it took me absolutely ages. I mean, it, it was useful in some ways uh, because it was sort of client relationship and some of my first work. But I was thinking, this is just stupid. I cannot possibly work with people per hour and I'm going to have to move on from this. And I don't think they're very healthy, those sort of freelancing sites for 3D artists anyway. Unless you're, unless you're sort of in there and you're established, uh, I wouldn't go to those sort of sites. Uh, Pete Morgan Studios, yeah, it's nice work then. Um, very impressed. Took me a week to learn and figure out the paper and smoke physics. Uh, thanks for the advice. We'll work on the lighting as I need more things into the, um, as I add more things into the scene. Yeah, uh, it's it's good, and I think you've got a future. Uh, that's what people are looking for more than just a a tank. Uh, and I don't mean that to be offensive to the first person we looked at because it was a cool tank, and they can obviously do Blender better than uh, Pete Morgan Studios. Uh, but it, I think more people are going to notice the Pete Morgan Studios portfolio, especially when he just um, sorts out a few things in the background and stuff, and the lighting. Uh, anyway, so where are we? Uh, yeah, uh, try to notice bad texturing, try to fix textures. Um, yeah, that's that's true, yeah. Um, it, so um, Tom Kayak is saying, try to render, 
notice bad texturing, try to fix the textures, notice bad modeling, fix bad modeling, and rinse and repeat. And you can sort of build up like that. That's kind of a true in a sense, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what's a good site to find jobs as a freelancer? I would go on to Blender forums, maybe even the Discord server. At least some people post jobs on there. Um, but you, if you're starting out, don't expect to get lots of money. You need to, uh, you need to work on your collaborations with people, uh, work for low pay, uh, because you're, because you're starting out. So your, your time is not worth as much as a, um, someone who's been working for 20 years in the industry's time. So uh, people do sometimes come into it with big expectations that they're going to earn big mega bucks doing the thing they love and they've done their donut <laughs> and, and that's their portfolio and they're going out there, well, why does no one want to hire me? I've done my donut. I've got my qualification. So yeah, um, do you do your um, ArcVis stuff in Blender as well? How much is it popular in, in the ArcVis industry? I did try getting into that. But I find art quiz a little bit dull, uh, unfortunately, um, because I don't find it very creative. Uh, I've done a few sort of houses for people and uh, things like that, and, uh, and sheds, weirdly. And that was one of my first projects with doing a shed. I did a boat, a yacht um, for someone, uh, and it was all very methodical there's a cube here and another cube here which is a wall and you put the wall texture on and i i'm much more of a i want to do cool fun game characters that have uh weird shaped heads or something you know that's me so um i got very sort of despondent with the art fizz stuff quite early on um i feel like i feel like that is something that um is going to be drag and drop pretty soon uh so you're gonna and it almost is at the moment isn't it you can download assets like chairs, tables, and so forth from different polygon, as Blender Guru would say, uh, and just chuck them all into a scene, and you've got an ArcVis site, you know, so uh, a boat yacht. <laughs> uh, did someone say, hey, Curtis is here? Uh, I can't see him. Oh, yeah, you are. Uh, how do I get started in... How do I get started in 3D? <laughs> You, um, I've seen your channel. You've got a long way to go. I'd give up now, Curtis. You're, you're just never going to get there, mate. <laughs> yes, Curtis is here. <laughs> is that the real Curtis? Holt? Well, if it's not, as someone who's taken his uh, his picture and his personality and put them on, he's mimicking them very well. <laughs> it definitely is Curtis. I just know it is by his question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you don't know Curtis Holt, uh, where have you been? Uh, he's, he's someone on Blender Nest, so I, there's the podcast. We uh, A few of us do Ducky 3D, CG Matter and so forth. And CG Matter is the crazy one who keeps doing diss tracks and wanting us all to get involved. Have you done anything on that line yet, Curtis? I don't know whether you have. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry, Curtis. I've just got to be, um, got to be realistic about it. Um, so yeah, just give up now. It's, it's not happening for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> where were we back to the portfolios anyway okay so Amenya Amenya uh, Dream World Design that's quite interesting okay Deviant Art now uh, people um, diss uh, Deviant Art uh, and I don't really know how, uh, do I go on it no I don't really go on it so I don't know much about it but um, I've heard industry people say don't use Deviant Art for your portfolio, but I wonder whether it's moved on from that, and maybe it's had a bad reputation. I don't know. Uh, so I remember speaking to someone years ago now, and they said, "Oh, Deviant Art is that's a, there's some weird stuff on there." And I thought, "Is it? What's that then?" So I assumed it was some sort of you know weird site. So when I heard that people had their portfolios on there, I thought, "Well, what are they doing?" You know. So, um, but yeah, who knows? It feels like 2008. Rule 34. That's rule 34, is it? Don't use DeviantArt. Too much not safe for work stuff on DeviantArt. So there we go. Uh, DeviantArt equals rule 34 and worse. What is rule 34? Uh, people are saying that. Red Elixir, nice to see you. <laughs> I can only stay for 10 minutes. Glad to see you. <laughs> Don't go down that rabbit hole, Grant. Okay. Uh, too much got so much work stolen from here as well. Yeah, it's interesting. Don't check rule thirty-four. Okay. 
<laughs> then answer that question. You see, I'm quite naive when it comes to these things. <laughs> oh no, I've I've opened. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> right. I had no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just streaming. Don't don't do it. Don't go there. Okay, my poor innocent soul. <laughs> oh dear, I embarrassed myself here today. <laughs> Stay naive better that way. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, so deviant art. I mean, that it's conjuring up those things. So I would, if it is, if that's got any doubt there, then just avoid it and go somewhere else. Um, but let's have a quick look. I don't really know how what I'm doing with deviant art either. So I might. I'm, I'm worried I'm going to press the wrong button and and uh, not safe for work stuff is going to come up. You know. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it looks. I like these. I like these characters. Hooker and Gary, are they um, are they copied? Are they fan art? Um, because then you you want to try and avoid fan art where you can. I mean, this this guy's weird. That's kind of fun. I mean, these are getting more more fun. These look sort of anatomically a bit weird. They look like they're this same character with just a different texture. So I feel like there's no variation there. We've got a bit of Pingu there, which is pretty cool. This fish is quite cool. I don't know. I'm not liking the layout of. Deviant art, I must admit. Gallery folders, bitmaps, vectors. Okay, okay. This is kind of cool, low, um, not, not low poly stuff, pixel stuff, <laughs> low poly. Um, I feel like um, it's not bad, uh, but it's it's not to a level yet where um, you're quite ready for uh, going into the industry. Um, so keep working on your anatomy, keep working on uh, the, the working. Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's almost there. It's not far off, but um, just anatomically it doesn't. I mean, if you look at the arm muscle, it doesn't quite go into the shoulder in that way and so forth. It's it just and it's got a sort of bulge here where it shouldn't have. I don't know whether you can even see my arm off the screen there. You sort of can, can't you? Um, with my big muscles there. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, and are you a 3D artist? Are you a 2D artist? Is a question. This looks much simpler than this, for example. So I'll take this out. Uh, I, I suppose we've got, it's got a character theme, which is good. But then I, yeah, so I'm, I'm confused about where we're going. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> Am I making sense? Am I, it's, it's cool, cool bit maps, there we go. <laughs> the tea froze into a set donuts over the donuts and chairs. Uh, you need a premium account to upload multiple images in one post on DeviantArt 2. Oh, that's not so good, is it? Are you familiar with uh, wanako 4 d from Instagram? His work is awesome. Okay, well, I'll have a look at some point. Remind me later. Are you going to upload the stream to the... Yes, I always upload the streams to the channels. Yep, they're in the playlist, Gabbit Media Live or whatever it is. Um, uh, is Curtis still here? Maybe we should take a look at Curtis's portfolio. <laughs> um, big man Grant. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have used my own arm as the, um, as the example. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, I still used to model and sculpt on 2.79, animate and texture on 2.8. I don't feel familiar with to 2.8 rotation. Is that okay, or should I model and sculpt on 2.8? I would start getting used to it as soon as possible because things are moving on fast, uh, and soon they won't really be supporting 2.79. Um, you've got EV, you've got all the new sculpting brushes, so uh, moving on. My <laughs> you know, Curtis, yes, take a look at my chaotic mess. <laughs> uh, where is your portfolio uh, hosted, Curtis? <laughs> Have you got a portfolio? I mean, uh, because we're kind of YouTubers, aren't we? Uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't. It's not as needed for us as it is for a freelancer who's just doing freelance. Uh, because yeah, it's different. Ah, other people would like to see your portfolio, Curtis. Let us know. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, let's go back to the Discord. Uh, actually, you can't post links on here, can you? On the chat, you have to go to the Discord. So you have to put it on the Discord. <laughs> Are you still on Discord? You, yeah, you are still on my Discord. I think you are. Anyway. Um, right. Let's uh, let's move on to the next person, which is Yash Yash Mishra. Yash Mishra. Is that right? Yash Mishra. I think that's right. 
Uh, yes, but the rotation is so messed up. When you say the rotation of 2.8, do you, do you mean the user interface or something? <laughs> okay, let's, uh, this is quite cool, isn't it? So Yash, Yash Mishra, got a follow on art station. Nice work. There you are. <laughs> I think it, you know, I quite like the fact that people post their a picture of themselves, like Curtis does. Uh, <laughs> uh, whereas, uh, I, I just, it, it's, it helps, it helps to sort of see the person you're talking about in a weird way. And uh, maybe it's not good because you can judge people. Uh, so, uh, might not be good in employment sense because if you're worried, I don't know, uh, it, it, there might be discrimination, might there? So maybe it isn't good, but I quite like to be able to see the person uh, who I'm talking about. No, no way. Okay, some cool stuff. Um, I like this. I like this. I think it's great. Yep, they're really good fun. Um, just watch out for the, that looks like the rendering. Is it shade smooth? But it looks more like the lighting and lighting issue. Uh, so yeah, so shade smooth uh, if you can. This is your best piece by a long way. Uh, and I prefer that to all. I like that one as well. This one's almost good, but it's a bit sparse in itself. These look like your earlier work, so I'd take them out personally. And this one doesn't really relate to these three. So I'd keep these three in. Maybe work on this one and do it from a few different positions. Uh, but these ones aren't selling it for me. They're a little bit bland. They're creative, but they're not quite there. Uh, but these two and this one, uh, and maybe adapting this one, to some different positions, and that would be a good portfolio, in my opinion. Is is Derek Elliott on here as well? Is he? And now he's got a portfolio. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's quickly. Uh, hello, Derek. Nice to see you on it. Well, what's going on with this stream? What are people doing? Uh, uh, I'm going to show you. Um, is with is Instagram your thing or Behance is your thing? I can't remember now. I think it's, it's pretty much the same, isn't it? Um, but look at this for a portfolio, look, there we go. Uh, it, it, so I, I thought I would show you this because I remember talk, when interviewing uh, uh, Derek about his stuff, thinking, oh, that's a nicely organized portfolio. And uh, it gets lots of work as well. So uh, if you want to look at a portfolio about, uh, and think about how to um, make your portfolio, then uh, look at these things. I mean, look at this. Uh, let's look at this cool um, product design stuff. You can you can tell it's sort of product design, and there's it's actually being introduced. Oh, look at that! There we go, product design stuff. It, it instantly you think this guy's a professional, don't you? Uh, and it, yeah, it, it, I don't even have to say much really because you you can tell, can't you, that it's good. Let, I'm I'm gonna go off behind actually. I'm gonna go to um, Instagram because more people know it. So um, let's go. I'm pretty sure you do lots on Instagram as well, don't you? Um, oh, that's your recent tutorial. Uh, yeah. So if you want to know how to make this, get across to Derek's channel. Let's, let's have a quick, let's have a quick play, shall we? I think these are non-copyright uh, sounds, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's good. Isn't it? Now you're making the obviously the sounds, but are you making the sounds as well? <laughs> oh, I love it! That's awesome, isn't it? That is good stuff, isn't it? Um, uh, when is my next live? Uh, let's let's talk portfolios. But my next live will probably be Wednesday. And we'll do a follow through, follow through, follow along. It's voice is good, isn't it? Um, so next next Wednesday we'll do a follow along. We're making an axe. I think lots of people ask for low poly style axe. I think was it low poly style? We're doing World of Warcraft style axe or something. We're doing axe anyway. Uh, but usually I do character modelling today. But um, I didn't manage to get in touch with Raymond, and he wanted some changes. Um, so I, I wanted to hold off because it's we're doing all the baking stuff at the moment, uh, baking the normal maps and things. And you don't you you make sure you've got your changes set before you do that. I put my portfolio in the live stream channel. Oh, now I've got to find that. Uh, but anyway, let, uh, let's focus on Derek's for now, and then we'll come to Curtis's in a second. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, yeah, and I should say again, uh, Derek's channel, he did a tutorial on how to make this car. 
he's got he's got some good stuff. So get along to that channel definitely. Um, but uh, oh, I saw this recently. <laughs> It's great, isn't it? Uh, and it, it, it's got such a cool sense of humor going with his artwork and it's got that creativity. It's got it all going on this portfolio, hasn't it? Uh, and look, I love this as well. Can you see the, the continuity? That's the thing, continuity in the portfolio. And it's, yeah, it's good stuff, isn't it? This, if you want to know about portfolios and if you want to learn how to make this, that's on his channel as well. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? But uh, you should be getting along to, uh, you should look at this tutorial. You should look at uh, Derek's Instagram, follow him on Instagram um, and uh, uh, mimic uh, the way he's done his portfolio because I mean, that is, it's got, yeah, this continuity to it. It just looks great. I love this one as well. And there's a tutorial for this as well, I think, isn't there? Look at this. <laughs> it is, it is lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Anyway, thank you for that, Derek. <laughs> it's Kurt's just turn now, yep. Okay, so I've got to find, uh, right, where are we? So we're on the uh, Blend the Nest crew. Everybody's going to see. I mean, there's uh, Southern Shotty stuff. That looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, I, I don't want to show too much of this, though. So where is your, um, is it under your affiliate stuff? Oh, I, can't, I don't know where I'm looking. Where am I looking? Uh, tell me where I'm going, Curtis. What am I doing? <laughs> Uh, that's definitely copyrighted. What's definitely copyrighted? Oh, it's, it's sound effects. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> it should be a sound design, shouldn't it? My Discord. Oh, my actual Discord. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. And is it in? It's in here, is it? In the live stream channel. Live stream channel. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm going to scroll down and find Curtis. There we go. Oh no. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait. There. We go. Ah, there. Art station. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Better be good. Better be good. Otherwise, uh, uh, you're you're out of Blender Nest. <laughs> I have that authority. Oh, that is pretty cool, actually, isn't it? But it's not bad. Not bad, is it? It's it's very nice actually because it, again, it's got. You see, that's the difference, isn't it? Uh, we we've seen in uh, what are amateur portfolios, which is good, and it's good to start a portfolio and get feedback and build on them. But here we've got lots of uh, continuity. I think is going to be my key word now. It's uh, it's strange. I mean, he he is messed up as a guy, Curtis Holt. He's absolutely messed up because you can tell inner workings of his character here um, <laughs> and he needs to uh, not just uh, well he needs to sort his life out <laughs> uh, but it has that continuity doesn't it it's um, it's sort of hard surface meets organic alien uh, but it's it's Curtis as well isn't it uh, that is a picture of him which is <laughs> Uh, I, I really like it um, as, as a portfolio and I do like his art as well um, and just thinking what sums up I mean, and this I think was sculpted with a mouse that's how crazy Skirtis uh, Skirtis <laughs> sorry that's how crazy he is am I right did you sculpt this with a mouse uh, tell me tell me why, whether you did or not Is he, is he still here? Yes, all my, you see? So it just, and because we were having a discussion, I was saying, no, nah, no, nah, you gotta, you got to get a tablet. you got to get a whack on Mobile Studio Pro or Cintiq or whatever. And there he is with his mouse, tinkering away, building stuff like this. <laughs> it's, it's quite something, isn't it? It's quite something. <laughs> and, okay, let's have a look at some of these other things as well. That's, it's nice, isn't it? So he's got this sort of hard surface design. And remember we were looking at the very first one, I said it was a little bit bland. Um, well, this is, you see these tiny details here, um, that's the next step up, isn't it, in a sense. And then uh, beyond that, there's sort of lighting and stuff as well. And what's going on with those eyes, Curtis? What are you playing at? <laughs> but it's cool stuff. And he, he's gone to beyond this now, hasn't he? He's doing, uh, there we go, there's the bi-gen stuff. Um, so, how do we get that? We uh, you can do the you can go to so bye Jen <laughs> bye Jen uh, is uh, is a add-on for Blender uh, and you can sort of procedurally make art. Am I right in what I'm saying here, Curtis? Help me out. I should probably get on a video call with you, really, shouldn't I? That'd be easier. 
Ah, you yeah, see, Derek, you got competition now, although it's in a completely different area. Yes. <laughs> um, with his mouth, that's that's really, with his mouth. Did I say mouth instead of mouse? <laughs> yeah, he sculpted that with his mouth. <laughs> I sculpt with a trackpad. Don't recommend it. Indeed. <laughs> I've sort of taken a bit of a tangent because it's these these people coming onto my stream and messing up Derek and Curtis you know, messing things up. I was doing a a pleasant chat. Uh, talking about people's portfolio and they come on with their rubbish artwork and they try and make out that they're cool in some way. It is quite clever though. So this uh, is uh, by Jen by looks things and uh, it's not really showing much of it there is it? I mean I, I can't can't explain what's going on there but there we go that looks pretty cool doesn't it? It does look nice but it, it's also very courtesy isn't it? It's got that sort of organic but hard surface uh, mixture uh, procedural uh, and uh, yeah just just messed up really <laughs> uh, you're just here trying to get some tips from the master gabbit <laughs> a bad influence on the streams indeed you are yep so yeah enough enough of you right so where was I uh, let's go back to oh yeah so we talked about um, about Yash here I love this love this and editing that I think uh, and then I, I possibly I mean if you can do a bit more to this maybe some more elements in there I think that'd be better uh, but yeah I mean that continuity that we're seeing from um, someone like uh, Curtis and, and Derek um, uh, yeah uh, I'll get back to the discord uh, is is what you should be aspiring to so let's get back. I mean, oh, we've got loads on here now. I was thinking if I only put this out an hour beforehand, we probably won't get too many. Uh, and then I can probably get through them all. But it's not happening now, is it? Yes, that's just millions of them. I'm going to have to do another one of these streams, aren't I? <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, man, there are millions on here now, aren't there? <laughs> have I got to the beginning yet? Oh, dear. Oh, we're here. There we go. Okay. So we're posting Instagram. Uh, okay. Creepy Nesta. You might want to think about your name as well. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's just the Discord name. Uh, Ulusarek. Ulusarek, is that right? <laughs> uh, is there any hope for a new 3D artist in market? Already um, you say there are many experienced people in the market. Yes, there are, but then there's lots of work in the market as well. And the 3D industry is massively growing. It's the fastest growing industry in the UK, uh, that and visual effects. Um, so game design and visual effects combined. Uh, so uh, there's there's lots out there, and uh, and that's that's not taking into account sort of ArcViz stuff and things like that, which um, or 3D printing. Um, so there's and 3D printing is only going to get more and more big, isn't it? But I think you do have to think about uh, where things are going in the future. As I've been talking a bit about uh, Epic Games today, um, what they've managed to do, and you sort of think, well, what what do I need to learn? Am I going to be okay? Like Curtis Holt with his procedural stuff, I see that's more the way things are going. Um, so if you're if you're into that, that's quite a good avenue to go down. Or very artistic. I mean, Derek Holt has a very sort of specific concept design uh, uh, career, if that makes sense. So um, you do have to think about those things as well. Uh, I wouldn't do. Uh, it, in my opinion, this is. So if I model realistic, like I'm looking at my camera at the moment, so I'm thinking cameras. So I'm really good at modeling, hard surface modeling of cameras and stuff like that. But uh, if you can 3D scan them, uh, I don't know, that I feel like that's going to get a bit uh, easier and less techy. So learning all those techy things uh, might not be as useful. Um, it, again, this is just my sort of musings on the subject. It might be complete rubbish. I mean, this is quite an interesting portfolio, isn't it? Okay, I like it. It does have continuity. Uh, so we've got sort of very black and white, grayscale look. This is quite fun. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it? I like that. This is another video, isn't it? So let's have a look. Okay. 
<laughs> it's quirky, it's different. Uh, I kind of like it actually, kind of like it. Uh, the only problem with Instagram is that you can't turn the sound down very easily. So you, hopefully you didn't all get blasted by that. Um, I have got the sound, actually no, it probably is actually fairly loud, isn't it? Oh no, it should be all right. You probably didn't get so blasted as I did. So you're okay. Uh, actually, what are we doing for time? We're doing all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, um, and by the way, make sure if you've got any questions, you put at Grant Abbott, um, A-B-B-I-T-T, uh, so that I can see it's an interesting, uh, it, so I can see it in orange, and uh, sorry, someone typed in interesting and I was reading at the same time. Uh, so I can see it's a question and I can answer them easily. And uh, yes, we usually do character stuff at the moment, but I need to speak to Raymond first before carrying on with that. So we'll probably be back to characters next Friday. Next Wednesday, we'll be we doing the um, uh, follow along sessions as people seem to be enjoying. It's, it's quite fun, isn't it? It's following along and showing our work on Instagram and stuff. Not Instagram. Yeah, uh, Discord. My brain is starting to go now, isn't it? Um, it's, it's all Curtis and Derek's fault, really, to be honest. <laughs> Not too loud, your audio is so crispy clean. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like it, the fact that people like my voice. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, it's nice having a British accent. <laughs> Just born with it. It's, it's funny, isn't it? That people like your accent. You think, oh, that's, that's good. That's handy, that is. I suppose it must be what it's like to be born with good looks. Uh, and it's just people think, oh, well, he's, he or she is beautiful, handsome. And that must be lovely. Well, people like my voice. So I think, yay, excellent. Thanks for liking my voice. <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> Anyway, where were we? Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. I quite like it as a portfolio. I mean, it, this looks interesting as well. I'm gonna, are we going to have blasted audio again? Blasted audio. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it works, doesn't it? It does work. And they're all videos, so it's, uh, it's really sort of following quite a theme. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're pretty interesting, aren't they? I mean, I, uh, I'm trying to act a bit like I'm a uh, client and they probably wouldn't stick on your work for very long if they're just quickly looking through loads of portfolios. So uh, bear that in mind when you're thinking about your portfolio, have sort of a bit of the wow factor at the front of it. Um, and if it's a video, make sure it's uh, the first few seconds are uh, vital in that sense. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite like it. It's difficult to know where to go or what to suggest. And that's probably a good thing because it means it's quite individual. Um, uh, just just keep going as you are and keep building on this. I like it. Nice work. Um, a face for radio. Oh, indeed. Haven't I just? But there we are. I'm daring to show my face uh, as well as talk. <laughs> oh, it's a control M to mute and unmute a tab. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, maybe not Chrome. I'm in Chrome at the moment. So. Uh, do you get tired shooting this video for this long? Uh, yeah, I always get a bit sort of... Um, my, not that I'm tired, but um, I, I, I have dyslexia and the, as when you start getting slightly tired, then you, it's weird. Uh, I just say the wrong words and the wrong words come to mind. Or like someone said that I said mouth instead of mouse earlier. And you just get a few little things um, uh, mixed up and the, the words don't come as easily as you get a little bit more tired. It's quite strange. Um, it, especially, it's very strange when I'm playing football because uh, I get tired towards the end of the game and then I start, uh, because you shout a lot in football, names and stuff and say such and such pass me the ball, is not what you say, but <laughs> that is an example. I get names wrong and they're teammates that I've been playing with for years and I'll say the wrong name and it's quite embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, slight aside there, isn't it? Uh, let's go back and do a few more of these. I'm not gonna get through all of them. Uh, I'll probably do another one of these. I need to get them in a list really, don't I? How, how someone suggested to me the best way of doing this because Discord is not the best place to post these because then we're going to get loads of new live stream stuff, aren't we? I should probably have a portfolio channel that people can post and then I can just go to and then follow the next one along and so forth. Okay, let's. Uh, so we've seen that one. Leapers Art, another Instagram. Oh, okay, interesting stuff. Oh, I've got uh, loads of likes. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And oh, it's all happening on my Instagram today. Uh, 
just having a look at a few questions. I wonder, can you uh, look at my boat scene before the broadcast ends? I've been waiting for this moment for one hour. <laughs> I feel bad because there's going to be people I can't possibly go through everybody's portfolio. I'm sorry, that's uh, I do feel bad because I've sort of there's probably people here. Who've, well, my portfolio's on there; it's going to be seen, and I'm I always have a two hour cut off with my streams. I'm afraid, um, but let's see if we can quickly get your portfolio. Maybe I should just do a sort of quick run through of everybody's portfolio and just click on it and say, "Look, there we go." You're surprised to hear I play football. <laughs> uh, there is a portfolio channel on there, isn't there? Yeah, that's what I, I'm trying to remember my own Discord now. There is a portfolio channel, so I probably should have gone that direction, shouldn't I? Yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway, I, blah, 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 blah. see what I mean about just messing things up. Uh, that's, that's why I like this community. They're very forgiving and understanding, apart from Curtis. He's not that understanding. He's just a weird guy. <laughs> he's not actually. I'm just being really rude. <laughs> You know when you're trying to do some banter and then it just comes out really rude? <laughs> That's not banter. It's not banter, it's bullying. That, that was up in my secondary school at one point. It's not banter, it's bullying. Uh, <laughs> we've all been waiting. Sorry. <laughs> soccer. It's not soccer. It's football. <laughs> okay, this is quite cool, isn't it? Um, let's just have a look at one of the videos. So this is the first thing we see. Cool. Yep, nice. Good stuff. It's reminding me a bit of CG Geeks uh, tutorial in the set, in the way things are set up a little bit anyway. Um, and I feel like it's lacking a touch of realism in terms of some of the sizes. So if we go over here, in a second it's coming, can we, can we, and there's a toilet there, and it's just sort of, it doesn't look like it's in the right place. And where's the shower? I don't know, that just looks slightly out of place and weird. Um, Oh, so CG Trader, a oh, base on sure from CG Geek. Oh, interesting. Um, so you, it's weird how you recognize these things, isn't it? So yeah, sort of thinking about tutorials and stuff. Are these uh, based on Ducky stuff? Have you mentioned that? No, they just look like Ducky stuff. <laughs> Duck, I call it Ducky stuff now because uh, he does so much of this uh, motion graphic stuff, doesn't he? And very well, he's very good at it. Well done, Ducky. He's not on there, is he? There's no space for forgiveness in this community. <laughs> It is lovely, isn't it, Curtis? Isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this sort of um, motion graphic -y, I don't know what you call it, it's, um, abstract motion graphics. Uh, this looks really nice, I like this. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, this and it's got a continuity, I like it. Um, there's not much on there though, that's the only thing. So if it is your portfolio, then you need to probably get more on there, show that you're an experienced 3D artist. It, I, I would take this out. I say get more stuff on there and then take this out. Um, but I don't think it's as nice as something like this. This looks really sort of rich and creamy and lovely. Um, but that sort of seems out of place. So go down the motion graphics route if you're going to. Am I making sense? I don't know if I've stopped making sense now. This is quite nice, isn't it? Some assets from Blend Swap. Okay, so yeah, that's good that you're being clear about that. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. Yeah, nice style. It's good. This is quite good as well, isn't it? Yeah, and this is quite a good way to start out as well, is to just grab assets, pull them in, put them into a scene. Uh, it's a good good idea, actually, and it looks good. Yep, it's got that sort of uh, classic still life look, hasn't it? Yeah, nice work. Um, it's tricky to know advice to give there. Yeah, my main thing is that it, as a portfolio, it still seems young. Uh, so that's the next stage, just keep building on what you're doing, I suppose, is the best advice then, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, do we allow not safe for work art here? Uh, no, we don't. I'm sorry. Uh, that wouldn't be appropriate for my YouTube channel. Is I have to tick boxes saying it's not, uh, it's not containing any of that stuff. So sorry, we can't do that. Um, yeah, hentai. Is that how you pronounce it? Hentai artist. I do. I've heard heard of that. So I know what that's about. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. I just read it somewhere. Oh dear. Uh, Ducky is doing the job of. Converting Cinema 4D uses to Blender. Indeed, he is, isn't he? Yeah, that that's a, it's got that Cinema 4D look. That's what I should call it. But I call it the Ducky look because that's how I know it. Impressionism, Cubism, Ducky stuffism. Indeed. <laughs> uh, we're on YouTube, dude. Yeah. He's, oh, I see. Yeah, your comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the still life render looks nice. Yeah, it's quite. It's, it's, I do do have fun doing this, but oh. 
Oh, I've lost my connection. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I'm losing my connection. This is weird because my internet's been pretty good up to now. Oh, that's frustrating. Hmm. Is it back though? Is it really back? I feel like I'm not back. Is it actually back? <laughs> You're still, uh, uh, we see you. It's back, it's back, you're back. Am I definitely back though? It's back and lagging. <laughs> okay, I lost my connection for a second there. But I think, I think we are all back. <laughs> Audio delay. The sound's doubled? What's going on? So it could be a YouTube thing, couldn't it? Because I don't think I lost my connection. Um, <laughs> thanks, Curtis. <laughs> Blink twice. <laughs> uh, refresh if you have desync. Okay, so if you refresh, guys, you should hopefully see me back. And if you get an advert, make sure you watch it all the way through. <laughs> yeah, it says excellent connection now. I think I just lost it for a minute. I am actually going through my Wi-Fi because I've had this weird problem that if I plug in, I only get 10 meg. And if I go on the Wi-Fi, I get 40 meg. And then they, oh, it's just crazy. It's, uh, oh, mad. Uh, you should make a not safe for work channel in your Discord. I'm not sure it's that sort of channel. It's not sort of, that's, it's not that sort of server. <laughs> I can understand that it's part of art uh, and fair enough, but uh, BBC Blender is back online. BBC Blender, is that the new, <laughs> my BBC Blender? I suppose it, it, with my voice, the fact that I just do weird anecdotal streams. <laughs> I think actually that's probably pointing me to the fact that uh, we are reaching the end because I am I'm getting that sort of dazed look in my face. Can you say you can probably tell? Default cubes back is is casting his magic again. So, uh, but I, I I've had a lot of fun. So I will do another one of these. Uh, so, but um, you just have to get in there quick with your portfolio. I think that's how we'll do it. I I, I have got a gigabit router. Uh, that's the weird thing. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment some more as I thought I was okay, but obviously it's going down every now and again. Um, where you next, where you, Barbara? Okay, because you're a long time listener. <laughs> Wait, hang on, are you next? Uh, is this your? This isn't you, though, is it? Oh, there you are, you're there. Oh, I feel bad. I'll, I'll do two more then. Uh, what graphics card do you use? Uh, GTX 1070. It was donated to me, actually, which is cool, by. Uh, you see, that's what happens to my brain. Transmit this. Okay, so we've got one from quickly Sam Gam Sam Gamji, <laughs> Sam Ferrer, three uh, D artist from France. Uh, the, there's a tutorial video there. There's another one there. That's Polygon Runway, isn't it? Recognise that. But it's it's cool stuff. It's got a theme, uh, and I think that's your own work, isn't it? So uh, take out art, um, the stuff you've done from tutorials. Uh, improve this work because that looks fun to start off with, but it's a bit sparse. Uh, this is looking good. Um, keep working on it keep, keep, keep building uh, because it, you can see your progression actually as it goes through and it's looking starting to look pretty cool here I must say yeah build on this scene uh, keep it going Th this, these piece of wood look big and that looks big uh, so just look at uh, ref reference images you need more reference images so I'm just going to do a couple quickly now really quickly uh, so Barbara um, uh Icyancid, is that how you pronounce it, Barbara? <laughs> uh, what do you prefer when you work, sculpting or polygonal modeling or both? Uh, sculpting mainly, but I'm uh, sort of getting into um, uh, poly polygonal modeling as well. It's sort of hard surface. Uh, just go for anything that, if it looks good, then I enjoy doing it. Um, uh, having a common theme on your artwork important? It's tricky to say, but yeah, having consistency and uh, continuity in your portfolio is, if you look at Derek's portfolio, I mean, that 
that's awesome for consistency and and Curtis Holtz they've got that consistency you can really see it in the whole way through their portfolio and it looks really nice just makes them look really professional even though they're not <laughs> so that banter was meant for Curtis not you Derek you're very professional <laughs> why am I picking on Curtis son I don't know uh, uh, you can put there's plenty to, uh, of uh, channels and stuff to post your concept art and things like that on on the discord and get feedback from people if you want to feedback from me then at grant on discord and i'll pop up and it'll pop up for me like there general chat you see i know someone's trying to chat to me there uh where was i i've lost it and my brain is gone now uh, uh oh yeah i'm in here i know there yeah now this looks cool uh, let's just quickly see what you've done here with your video and that's worth thinking about. What am I doing and how am I looking at it? Uh, analyze the way I'm looking at it. So the first thing I did, uh, oh, that looks good. It's got a video as well. Let's click on it. So something um, was interesting about this that made me want to look at it. And it's pretty cool, actually. There's one thing, one thing in a second. Does it? I thought it disappeared. No, that's just me. It's really cool. Love it. And it's individual, it's style. This is a good portfolio. I feel like this is lacking compared to these. These have a bit more creativity, whereas this is the classic I've sculpted ahead sort of thing. Uh, although it's a good sculpt, it still feels a, a touch beginner-ish, uh, whereas these look a bit more individual, creative and exciting. So I'd be more inclined to have, I mean, this is Instagram, I know. So, uh, uh, or did you actually post your portfolio as well? No, it was both Instagram, wasn't it? Um, so when you're thinking of your portfolio, uh, then I would, uh, not put that on although it's lit nicely um but there's still a bit of way to go in terms of the sculpting because the nose is i mean it's, they've got a very sort of thick nose across here uh and the eyelids uh, are thinner over here than they are here really minor things but you really notice them on a face because we look at faces all the time so you notice when these things are out um whereas this is really uh, cool stuff isn't it uh, really cool creative exciting interesting um yeah so the same same there a little bit uh it, it, it's just a it seems seems very sort of oh it's another face that people have seen a million times i think when talking portfolios this is all pretty cool i like the creativity uh and the yeah the, there's a style to it isn't there so you're doing well uh barbara nice work hey, is this you barbara or is this a photo of someone else uh yeah, it's just, for some reason i like to know who i'm talking to strange isn't it? just my weird non-internet avatar brain working yeah, this is cool. Let's look at one more video. Tell us where the music came from uh, when you post. Did you make it yourself or... Uh, oh! <laughs> um, I sh should be careful actually because um, if these are non-copyright pieces of music then I I'll get this... Uh, it I'll get a copyright thing on this actually. And it might... It can get really weird with uh, YouTube and music and anybody who's donated it could be in question and stuff it's, it's really strange thank you very much edwin i really appreciate that uh, thank you uh, um so uh in terms of uh where are we uh we got up to barbara didn't we where was it? ah lost you now oh there you are uh and then we'll do uh one more one more there's an art station one an art station one ah look so uh immediately strikes me as a bit beginnerish because we've got sort of very basic polygonals um, type of thing, sort of hard surface where things should be sort of round. Uh, but it's good, you can see progression and it's good that you've uh, gone for it and got ready with your portfolio. Now, uh, keep working on it and keep building on it and then start dropping things out as you feel like they're not as good as your modern pieces. So this one looks a bit better than this one, for example. That looks like it's the start of a sea shack scene, but I would possibly, let's actually just quickly go into that. Uh, oh, yeah, um, so it's the start of a video, but actually choose a better frame for it from about there. Uh, looks a bit nicer for, if you can choose a better frame anyway. Or maybe start the animation from this point rather than uh, round the back because it didn't look as nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, so it's Andre Wong. Uh, nice work, uh, but yeah, so keep improving, keep building and keep uh, working on that portfolio. I feel like I wanna do one more now. Uh, that this one isn't it okay so uh sibren westendorp <clears throat> uh 
uh, when will you do uh, when will you next do one of these streams so I stream every Wednesday and Friday um, uh, and uh, Wednesday's the follow along Friday is usually the character um, so I've just uh, jumped this one in now because um, yeah we got up to a stage with the character where I had to pause and talk to Raymond about where it's going to go um, so I thought Ooh, I'd do a well, portfolio thank you very stream much. Uh, thank you very much Dan um, so yeah, so uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, but in terms of this, I'll probably have to sort of fit one of these in when I can. Um, so there'll be more of them, definitely, don't worry. Uh, hey Grant, managed to get uh, a first in my uni 3D modeling assignment and your videos helped me through it. Here's a coffee, other um, coffee slash other beverage on me, you know me well, Dan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, that's good to hear as well. I, it, it is nice to hear those sort of things, that's cool. Yeah, that is a nice portfolio from Barbara, wasn't it, um, Corey S. Anyway, um, uh, congrats, Dan. There we go. <laughs> that's what I mean about this community. It's cool, isn't it? I love it. It's in. That's. Uh, I know people say my streams can be a bit uh, slow, but this is the fun, the bit that's fun for me: the chat and talking to people, and uh, how uh, like Derek and Curtis coming on as well. You know that sort of thing it is pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, it do, it's so much fun. So much fun. Uh, so I don't know if Derek and uh, Curtis are still here, but maybe we need a. a, a he said, I really would like to do a sort of a blend off. One person did it. I can't remember who it was. And there were two people. Was it Derek actually who did that? Was it Derek and uh, um, Blender Binge? Uh, a face off. Uh, but it would be fun to do a, a, a funny one of those. Um, so if you're up for it, uh, Curtis and um, Derek, maybe. Uh, let, let me know. Um, or anybody else uh, who fancies that have a blend off and then sort of jump to their screens and have a bit of banter of course uh you still here are you curtis there you go <laughs> i just assumed you'd jump in and and go when i got really boring and that uh, obviously very exciting as my, as my streams are you see <laughs> uh anyway so where are we so we're on um s y bright oh so, um sibran western drop uh, western dorp sorry okay this looks cool oh, that's a um, nice piece there ah oh, i recognize this Oh, that was in the competition, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's start off. In, and you notice I went for what I thought might have been your weakest piece because it's sort of the one you put on here first. So I want to see uh, if it is your weakest piece. And therefore, if you're my client, if I'm your client, uh, what might I be getting? You know, it's, but it's not a weak piece at all. It's really nice. I love this. It's really nice and creative. It's hard to do things like grass and water with low poly work, but I think you've, you've done really well here. I feel like the trees need a bit more puffiness, that's all. And uh, when you're rendering low poly work, try and I think, uh, actually, do I? Do I? Uh, I feel like some of the lighting and the shadows are a bit too harsh. Could be, could be just me, could just be me. I like, I like softness with low poly work. But sometimes that's not the style. This is really lovely though, isn't it? Really lovely, like, like that. Uh, well done with this. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? I'm going the wrong way. So uh, that's really cool. This is interesting. Oh, okay, so this is <laughs> a sort of um, artist's desk. Mm. I'm gonna go th sort of quickly through these. That's quite nice though, isn't it? Okay, so then we've got some 2D stuff, uh, which is very good. Yep, that's good. I mean, it looks nice, but it is it is a bit of a classic. Um, oh, it's a female face. And I, and I do that all the time. I draw female faces myself and male faces and getting used to it. And I do post them on Instagram and stuff. Sometimes just because um, it encourages you to keep going. Uh, so, but it, I wouldn't put it in my portfolio because I don't think it's one of those things that uh, is the classic uh, portfolio piece, if you see what I mean. Uh, this is quite cool. I like this. As I remember it from the um, the competition. Nice work. This one seems a little bit weaker than the others. I'd probably lose it. You might be quite proud of it, but it to me it just doesn't scream. Uh, it, it starts to make me think you might not be as good as I thought you were. So uh, it, it's very it's very flat. It's not very rounded. This looks really flat compared, and it almost looks like it's made of wood. Uh, so have a think about that. Perhaps this looks really cool. And it's a sketch map, is it? Oh. I feel though that um, when it does load, how's my connection? I think we're okay. Oh, I think we might have lagged a little bit there actually. Um, but I feel like the front picture 
should be around there, maybe there. Yep, not, um, because I didn't notice this to start off with from the thumbnail, you gotta sort of look back um, and see it like that uh, because that's a much better image, we can start to see what's going on. But if we go back, that's the thumbnail, I can't tell what's happening. This suddenly looks really cool. So this is the, ma is this the magic book? I can't remember this one though. Was it in the magic book? Ah, uh, I think you'd done, I can't remember it. Because I think I would remember this as well. Really cool, really, really good. Oh, it's the CG Bruce Library Challenge. Ah, um, I was thinking it's magic book. <laughs> it's really cool, I like it. Yeah, lots going on lot, uh, and lots of detail. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, so that's a really great piece. I'm not so keen on this. It's it's not a bad piece or anything, but the lighting looks a bit too saturated. It's nicer when you're playing it, isn't it? But it's still, I, it's, I don't quite as, um, as uh, like it as much as the other ones. So I'd be tempted to take these out. This, for some reason, I'm not drawn to this one. Uh, this one's nice. Uh, these three for me are what are selling your portfolio to me and I, but it's tricky isn't it because then there'd be only three pieces so you could perhaps leave things like this in but uh, th those are the first ones I'd remove once you're building up on your skills. Um, the city doesn't quite fit with the rest exactly that's what I'm thinking Corey S yeah. Um, uh, what are, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> procrastinating from recording right now. Dreadful Curtis. Disgusting. <laughs> Um, yeah, cool. The first Unreal asset exported from Blender and you helped me. Good stuff. More tips and tricks, of course. Connection's fine. We're all good, are we? I thought it was lagging a little bit then, but I think we're okay. So it's just a weird glitch, wasn't it? I'm just seeing uh, what people are saying. I like the dragon. Oh, you have to be... You have to... <laughs> have to say it, didn't you? <laughs> I think uh, I like the dragon, but I don't think it's as good a piece of artwork. I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, game over, hello. <laughs> uh, I, um, <laughs> I, I, was, I know it's, uh, I'm sort of getting to the stage where I, I'm gonna have to um, call it a day because I've got to walk the dog. It's, it's gotta happen. <laughs> it's probably whining now. Uh, yeah, what we'll have to do, uh, we'll have to do another one of these. So uh, make sure you get in there early uh, and we will <laughs> uh, we'll, um, we'll hopefully fit you in. Uh, I feel bad now. <laughs> that is probably the best portfolio piece on here. Let's, is, is there any other sort of quick, oh, that looks quite fun, doesn't it? Hey, went off track a little from your tutorial. That's quite a cool mouth though, isn't it? I like that. Oh, PG tips. It's nice, it looked a bit dark. I'm just being really quick now. Uh, now that is another great portfolio piece. No one will recognize that. <laughs> Uh, this works for my portfolio. Uh, please reply. <laughs> it's it's a nice piece actually. So it's a touch. I feel like it needs something else in it. These all look very repetitive. <laughs> Minor for me. Maybe scale one down. Uh, just sort of being really quick, uh, just because I feel bad for all these people that posted. It's quite fun. Ooh, back in the day, back in the day. Anybody else with, with a pencil? Trying to wind up your tape because it had gone into the machine. Oh, you have to be old for that. Curtis, you wouldn't understand that. <laughs> uh, nice to see you, Derek. Thanks for joining us. Ah, thanks. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed uh, the portfolio live stream, uh, then do let me know. Just uh, quickly comment on there. Yes. Um, if you um, maybe... I don't know, I'm trying to think of questions to ask actually, because I always think that a, a portfolio live stream might be a bit a bit dull for those that, um, and people would prefer a, a follow along or a modeling one, I don't know. Um, so uh, a quick post from, there's quite a few people on here, so if you're able, quick post. Uh, yes, I like the portfolio. Uh, and if you wanna see more follow alongs or more just modeling, or more just answering questions, uh, then maybe just post uh, those terms on there. And you can post more than one. There's always something to be learned from my comments. Thank you, Barbara. 
That's not just a wealth of knowledge, aren't I? <laughs> uh, where do you get ideas for models? Hmm. Uh, Pinterest mainly. Just love scouring Pinterest for artwork and art station actually. I've got loads of ideas now today just from all your work. I'm going to copy it, <laughs> make it my own. <laughs> Scroll a little bit. Uh, I quite like this uh, uh, Beto. Um, I saw you one here earlier. It's quite fun, isn't it? Quite a cool crate with these weird green. I think they might be meant to be gold, but they're coming out green, so check on that. Um, I feel I do feel bad. This is quite fun, isn't it? Oh, I like that one. That's got a, a sort of mystical look to it, this, and this sort of weird thing growing out. Oh, there, that's, that's more like it, isn't it. This is quite fun, isn't it? A nice work, Bedo again. Is it Bedo? How you pronounce it? Uh, Tanish. That's I like the style. It's a little bit simplistic, but it's 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 pretty cool. And uh, there's some nice work coming across here. I'm just sort of really scrolling through quickly. That's quite fun. <laughs> and more portfolios. Oh yeah, inside inspired me. Um, yeah, is that someone who did a Blender tutorial recently on something like this? It was really cool. Uh, no problem, Convorex. Yes, it's a nice train change. I uh, hope to contribute soon. A more question and answer. Yeah. After your review of my portfolio, Unreal Engine hired me. Is that really true? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a joke. I'm assuming that you never know because I don't want to, uh, because I might sort of be laughing away and then it's actually true and then I'll look really stupid. <laughs> so best to err on the side of caution. Uh, live stream. <laughs> Love the portfolios, yeah. Cool. I'm just sort of quickly scroll through. There's millions of stuff on here. It's quite fun, really. Um, just so in case people want to get there. Oh, you've done the C-Shack and the, the... That's a nice tree. That's better than the ones I did, actually. Prefer that one. Very nice. Oh, oh, I like that. I definitely like that one. There's something about it. <laughs> That's what my students used to do. Uh, I'm assuming it's from some silly music video or something money. Anyway. That, you can tell it's come to the end of the live stream because I'm just getting really stupid now. After your review, I made Fortnite. There you go, you see. It just makes so much difference to people's lives. They... <laughs> Loving it. it, it to, to be fair, that is quite a funny joke. Uh, <laughs> a bit oh good. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, so uh, next live stream will be Wednesday. And um, yeah, that will be the follow-along. I'll be doing something like... It'll either be... Um, I'm thinking game art, probably an axe, something like that. Um, yeah, uh, we're definitely going to be an axe. Probably a World of Warcraft, maybe a sculpted. We'll probably make it low poly first, and then we'll go the sculpting. So if you want to do low poly, you can stick to that. We can go the sculpting route if you like. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yep, and uh, the stream will be on the... <laughs> what was that? Um, the, the stream... Uh, yeah, will be on uh, my channel under the playlist with um, uh, yeah, uh, Blender Nest Sunday. I, I'm struggling to make Sunday. Sorry, Curtis. Uh, it, it's a really tough time for me because it always happens at uh, was it eight o'clock on a Sunday, and I, that was my switch off time. And I've been getting really sort of switched off recently. I mean, so busy, and it's sort of oh, when it gets to Sunday, and there's quite a lot of people on there. So I'm thinking he'd probably do without me. To be fair, am I? stupid stupidity that i bring to it so <laughs> probably best without me i don't know uh, but um it'd be good if you're up for doing a weird sort of um uh, a blend off with someone that'd be quite fun curtis so uh, <laughs> cool thanks curtis um yeah so uh yeah wednesday friday same sort of time three o'clock uh yep yeah, join me then and of course uh check out all my playlists in the description on my channel and make sure you're watching all my uh, adverts <laughs> um <laughs> I, I feel bad because was, yeah sorry uh dean test we didn't get to see yours i do apologize about that i secretly get drunk on sunday night <laughs> you know i've never been drunk i'll tell you that i've never been drunk i'm one of those weird people uh it's, it's usually a rite of passage isn't it into adulthood but I just, uh, I had one beer once and thought, what is all the fuss about? This is disgusting. And then pretty much after that, you know, tasted this and that, but never been drunk and uh, I don't drink <laughs> because I never liked it. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
uh, yeah so we'll call it a day there thank you very much everybody for uh drunk blender competition <laughs> nice one nick um we'll call it a day there so uh look forward to seeing you all in the next stream uh remember to follow so get ready for the follow along oh thank you very much game over uh quickly got in there with a, a donation oh that's quite nice I like that oh and there's another one there oh very nice <laughs> people just posting their artwork to get it on the screen behind me that's a good idea that clever uh, but thank you very much, Game Over. I appreciate that. Yep, thanks, Sunny Erwin, uh, Sunny Ray. Nice to see you. Um, okay, uh, Terminator Pig, Terminator PG, uh, Ooh, Nuclear well, Servant, uh, Corey S. I'm just shouting out names to say hello and goodbye. Uh, Dean Test, uh, Kurosoko, Nucleus. Anyway, uh, see you all and uh, happy blending as always. <laughs>